Hey everybody, Brandon Jones here. I got my friend Kyle Bossman. And everyone else who wanted to talk about Pokemon. <laughs> That's not fair. Damiani wants to talk about Pokemon. Okay, Damiani's in the right. next room. He might chime in. Great. Damiani watched me play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I don't know what version I was playing, actually. Um, and uh, and <laughs> pointed out how to solve puzzles, told me what Pokemon to pick. There were puzzles? Um, well, it was a gym. Cool. Uh, I went through the gym. So, yeah, cool. so there was uh, a, a light puzzles, but because we were going through the demo so fast, I just like, I was like, okay, hit the red thing and then right, and then my brain just stopped. And I was like, oh, I, I'm actually don't know where to go. <laughs> and like everyone's looking at me, like two PR reps, bloods, like over one shoulder, Damian is <laughs> over the other shoulder. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, so it's my friend Kyle here, yeah. and Kyle, you know, we connect over a lot of things, but I think yeah. we have a very special Pokemon relationship. Uh, I actually, oh, oh, he's in. in the room. Oh, he's in. Maybe. Let's he's talk in. Pokemon. Why'd you, why'd you acknowledge that? Damn, unprofessionals. I'm disappointed in both of you. I was just gonna walk on here being like, like all serious. Happened? Jones is usually like on me, like Damiani, talking to the mic. Damiani, just do this. <laughs> and first time, I'm like, I'm just gonna walk in here, not make a bit of it, just gonna be serious. Call me. I'm so disappointed. All right. To, 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 headphones to, on. I'll, to, to, I'm going to put headphones on. I'm going to put a headphones on. Let's do it. Was that a good bit? You're not going to out-professionalize me. To bring it back to a professional state, Damian, to be as honest and transparent as possible, mm -hmm. was it rough watching me demo this? No. Why? No? You enjoyed it? Because he was being bad at the puzzles. I didn't know oh, what Pokemon to pick. Like I no, didn't, no, yeah. absolutely not. Okay. No, 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 no. Not at all. Is the gym, the, that was it, the entire so, yeah. De demo? So, yeah, I, I, I went through, did the puzzle of the gym, and then fought the, boy, uh, names I'm not going to have. We have all the new Pokemon Nessa. right here. Nessa, okay. The so new was the, gym the, the, leader, the new one was announced. Okay. Who already is, yep. everyone is now calling, the self-proclaiming the new queen sure. of Pokemon trainers. Excellent, excellent. leaders, sorry. Um, She's yeah. replaced Cynthia. She has a lot of attitude. Yes. I like when I like when my character had a uh, female trainer, and I like when she walked in the the uh, arena, she was looked serious. She had, you know, like she had, she had her game face on. You looked like um, a little child next to her. Yeah. <laughs> but I took her. Yeah. So, I mean, are you getting a badge? Yes. Oh, that's oh, and something. The, yeah, the badge different, was interesting. Kyle. Okay, this is what I so, need to know. It's, this, it's like a, a, this here. ring appears. It's like gold ring appears on the screen. Okay. And then a, like a jigsaw, not jigsaw piece, but like a little piece of like a, almost like a puzzle. Like it was... What yeah. was it, Jones? One part of something that looked like maybe more than eight parts fit. In, like it was part of the circle. Yeah, the first part. It, it looked like it was gonna make up an image of something. So instead of getting eight badges, yes. I'm like collecting pieces to a pendant. Yes, pretty much. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And um, uh, and they mentioned that everyone, everything was auto set to level fifty. And so even though this is the Whoa. second gym that we've seen, uh, it's not necessarily indicative that this is the second gym in the game. Your Pokemon have some good moves. Uh, did some did some fun stuff. Again, I'm not I'm not gonna come at you with move names. Okay. I'm sorry. We we uh captured some stuff from the Nintendo event they were uh, that we're gonna try to try to roll tonight. But basic moves you've seen before, Kyle. Okay. There was a lot of uh you do damage but get recoil. Uh, there was a lot of that. The uh, the bird Take down the uh, well, Corviknight. Corviknight had not I mean not that was take down move. specifically, but their abilities like were a, described like that a, way. It looked like a dive bomb move where it like looked like it became like engulfed in flames or something like like a phoenix almost like dives down like nose dive maybe was what it was called or something and yeah i had took recoil damage cal wait yeah. was it brave bird brave bird there you go okay brave bird's old but yeah that's cool no okay. there's another one he had two <laughs> so glad tommyani's here sarah b's got four moves for it right now okay brave bird i'm just swagger, gonna do color commentary drill basically peck, steel okay. Because that was the that was what, that finished the the actual the end battle. I'm the, sorry. The, Wait, way back, way back, way the back. The gym way leader back. battle. This gym is the I've seen images of it, but we should explain it to everybody. Oh, yeah. yes. This is the pipes gym. Yes, is the it's water uh, yeah. Pokemon, which is again weird. They didn't go into specifics, but I think they tailored this gym to just kind of be like an introduction to gyms in this game. Mm -hmm. I don't get the vibe that this is going to way. This is the way this gym's going to so play. So you think this is the, the first gym, game. despite them telling us? We made them everything level 50, so you can't guess where this takes place in the game? No idea. I really have. Because, like, you uh, know, huh. there was a guy at the entrance. It's like, come back to me if you want to have your Pokemon healed. And, like, I would be surprised if every gym says that. Yeah. You know, it's just kind of, like, remember gyms? Like, you mm -hmm. know, uh, I definitely got that vibe. Uh, and there was nothing about, like, the story or anything. It was just straight gym. Battle, 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 battle. Flip switch, yeah. flip switch, flip switch. One of the, gym one, yeah, one of those, you were disappointed in one of those trainers, Jones. There's basically a Huber trainer. Who says I don't care if I win or lose? I just want to use the move that like looks cool or something. Like I just want to use this one move because I love this move and I'm gonna use it. I was and, like, and Jones on, like, know. 
Did yeah. they? I want these trainers to be out for blood. I don't think they specifically said what They'll say what move it was. Move it just, was. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. Because yeah. that'd be interesting if they actually have individual AI. Right. Instead of just being smart or dumb, like they actually have things that they like to do. Yeah. And one Pokemon per person that I challenged in the actual gym. Which this that's odd, gym, right? That's, that's so they, early. Yeah. I think it was the demo. I think they just okay. they, they even in like the first easy. gym that I did in like you know Sun and Moon. I don't think like each had one. Like right. they might what like one might have had like two or maybe yeah. even three. We're talking like, like that's the only City gym right ones here. that yeah. have one each are the annoying ones, which have like right. ten trainers you could potentially fight. Like what was the one gym you just go down a line? It was like all the martial arts people. This had like one like Machamp or something or Machoke, and that was like it. I was like. It's the same fight over and over against eight of you. Okay, yep. real cool. It was a dojo, but still a gym. It was going for right. th it was going for theme. Yes, at that point, yeah. Uh, but the uh, again, the, the the puzzles are tricky enough that I got through about sixty percent of it, you know, pretty cozily. And then at the end, like again, my brain just shut down, and, and Damiani helped me through. But it was you know your classic red switch, blue switch, gold switch. And, or yellow switch, and then you know you have to like flip one back on to get into a new area to hit that switch, and then go back and then flip that back off so you I'm can gonna, go back. I'm gonna make a rude statement right now, Jones. Yeah, you got sick of that puzzle because you weren't interested. You got stuck with that puzzle because you weren't interested in in the solution. I just, you know I, what I mean, it's just like a more complicated. There's like just a moment. Th <laughs> let me put it this way: there's a moment. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I'm just, I'm not. I don't love puzzles. I don't get yeah. excited when I get to a puzzle area in yeah. any in any video game. Sure. Uh, and there's always this moment. Whenever I'm playing myself, there's always this moment of like, okay, what? I hit the red, and then what happened? And I don't feel like I can do that when I'm demoing something, sure, especially if right. I'm demoing something where yeah. like you know, blood's waiting to play Link's Awakening. You know, it's not. It's like it's <laughs> just a different kind of vibe. Like yeah. oh, I'm just gonna do what Damiani tells me to do. And it was fun because one of the other Nintendo PR reps and Damiani were kind of like. Going back and forth, people like, no, 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 I think it's that switch, and they do something. So, um, but it didn't necessarily take that long. This was not a bit long gameplay demo. Actually, of the stuff that we checked out at Nintendo, it felt like the the shortest of the of the lot. Um, and admittedly, was not the thing. If I could cherry pick any of the experiences from Sword and Shield, I'd be like, get, the gym? get me in those wild areas right now. But I think that would be much more open ended. Like, there's no guarantee necessarily that like you're going to see in that demo the stuff that they want you to see. Like, you could maybe, like, only encounter, like, one or two things. This is why the Breath of the Wild demo was genius. They yeah, said just go, go nuts. Go. Yeah. yeah. They Pokemon needed snappy just... demos. They got to get yeah. all those people to oh. that booth. Yeah. Oh. They got to they gotta move it along. Ah. So, and, yeah. So, we, so we, we run in uh, one of my favorites, and I got to admit, you know, I, I remember you, when Sun and Moon came out, mm -hmm. I kept, I was like, oh, you see those tweets, Kyle, about the Sun and Moon? You were like, no. You're like, I'm not, I want to meet those Pokemon in the game. Yes. And I remember there was a part of me that was like, I see where you're coming from, but it doesn't really concern me. When, was it Impidimp? Yes. <laughs> when this yeah. pink dude pops up, I was yeah. like, I see what you're saying, Kyle. Yeah. Because I had not seen this guy online, and then just one of the trainers threw him out when I was going through the, you know, the gym, and I was like, and "Now th this guy I could get into. This is great." And he's fairy dark. Yeah, man. Okay. Um, I think dark fairy, but dark fairy, right? Yeah. Uh, he's and... a little devil. It's a just a little skinny <laughs> yeah. devil. But he's very like flat. Like his ears yeah. are very just kind of like you know like little flat things like strangely stuck in his head. proportioned little skinny arms. Yeah. Like oh, he's gonna be so good. I can't wait to catch that thing. Uh, the other reason why I think this was also kind of tailored specifically for a weird demo is it's a uh, water gym, mm -hmm. and I did not feel a water prevalence. Like oh, the, the 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 gym leader had uh, dreadnaw, which is water rock. Uh, yeah. I can look that water up. Water Earth, Earth, yeah. Earth, Rock, Earth. I forget what they call them in Pokemon. I've had too many fantasy games. It is today. Water Rock. Yes. Good, Jones. Nice. Um, uh, I, c I can't tell you what that's weak to, but you know, like, uh, I at least <laughs> remembered some <laughs> well, of these What's types. fun is that uh, electricity would be like, ha sorry, dude, I'm half rock yeah. type. Yes. Yes, cool. Uh, and so, um, but the other thing that was strange is the first trainer I, I, I met threw uh, fire type at me. And I was like, oh, okay. It was yeah. weird for like a water chip. So and it like was... Like dimp, there's no reason for that to be in there. So, yeah. um, so uh, because it was water type, Sobble didn't have a lot to do. Uh, it was fun. Yeah, um, that was immediately just by default because I didn't check... Uh, I should have before well, I went into the first battle. Check like who, who, what, what is that Pokemon? I'm gonna throw out first. Yeah, and it was Sobble. I think Jones actually used the move that changed it to a Water type. Wait, what? There's an ability. One of the uh, is Pokemon. oh right. Sobble has an ability to temporarily change any Pokemon it's fighting to Water type. Right. Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's a what good happened. move. Yeah. How long does it last? And he did it. He did it to a. Uh, he did it to a fire. Uh, what was that fire type? I don't to, remember. Not uh, Eevee. Uh, 
Oh my god. Oh, Vulpix. Vulpix, jeez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He changed Vulpix to water. <laughs> Which was one of the only Pokemon in this that I recognized from other games. Everything else yeah. was was new, was one of the, the newer Pokemon. Or and new I did not least. see uh, the evolution of what's uh, Eldegoss was not in No, there. Eldegoss. No, nobody had Eldegoss. Yeah, sure. You gotta evolve. Uh... But uh, I definitely did see, hello, Gossifleur. Uh, yep. And Gossifleur and Scorebunny. Uh, met in in brutal combat. And you had Score Bunny, right? And I yeah switched to Score Bunny, and yeah. I, I just I love Score Bunny so much. Score Bunny's my jam. Mm -hmm. And one little element that I love about Score Bunny the whole time, Score Bunny's out. He's hopping. He's cool. Like, let's go. Let's go. And I I don't know if it was an ability that I did, but I think there's one just general fire attack that he does that has a chance to up his speed. Either that or his speed just maybe will go up. Like he just Might like his ability. Like in between turns, it just said it's like oh his speed went up. Cool. And it just made sense because he's like he's just very you know very fast like in the, in the trailer he's just skipping all over the place, mm -hmm. um, yeah just lo love the score bunny vibes. Um, it wasn't until I actually got to the gym battle at the end that uh, I started throwing out people just to just to do it. Uh, um, Corviknight was one that like I didn't, and it wasn't because uh, Corviknight's not like my least favorite of the new Pokemon. I just like really wanted to not lose this battle, and so I was like always picking something that like countered the type or I knew wouldn't take a ton of damage. Uh, and flying dark. Uh, sure, I don't, I'll like, check. I'll I, either check one of those just didn't seem to apply to the situation, and so I like brought him in right at the end sure. to finally do the the, the final uh, attack flying onto steel. flying steel. Okay. okay, onto onto Dreadnought. But um, and Yamper is that the is that the little elect yeah. electric type? Yeah. So he's electric type, and I'm going up against <laughs> uh, water and rock. Mm -hmm. So uh, I bring him out for the first time in the final battle. Yes, right away, and then. Uh, do a little lightning damage to it. He crits Yamper, does a ton of damage. Yamper goes into yellow, and I'm like, whoa, pull him out. Because it used a rock then, move against you, presumably. Oh, okay. Did it? And then I, do, I don't remember specifically. Okay. And then I'm kind of trading stuff out. I kind of bring in some weird dudes, and it comes time to... And I bring out Grookey, and that's when I get my um, Dynamax, right? Does you, it? you use Dynamax at that Wait, point. Wait, in right. the gym? Yeah. They're, they're, no, the oh, yeah, leader. you see, see, see the, the trailer. He's talking about the leader battle right now. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm he's, at talking the about, he's talking about the ne battle against Nessa up in the stadium. And Nessa right only now. had Dreadnought. That was it. Wait. Just had one Pokemon. What happened in the gym? Um, so you solved some puzzles and then what? It fought some trainers and then got to the end. Hey, there's like a big, there's a stairway that goes up to like a, a door uh -huh. a and it leads to the hallway. And then you are in your, like, you are going down the hallway to enter the... It has that, uh, like, yeah. The, and you actually have to take control. You like, can actually, like, I, like, you did a couple circles, was, like, when you're walking into the gym, you actually yeah. can kind of look it. It was clearly everything. a cut-down version of what will be the final okay. gym. It was, uh, it was obviously it's either going to be multi-segment, or they just put, ho hobbled together something in that theme just to present at E3. Like, it did not look like that was going to probably right. be the Right, like, what version. a bunch of Willy Wonka nonsense yeah. to believe there's a stadium full of people who are just waiting for people to beat the gym to walk up. To yeah, that's like, what it is. Like, yeah. like it's yeah. like, Nessa just back, yeah. back in her own, like, little <laughs> room, just like, mm -hmm. well, like, is there a monitor? Yeah. Does someone call her on the phone? Like, on the intercom, like, all right, oh. another one just made it, Nessa, time to come back out. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me, though, actually, of all of the people that were challenged, and you, you spotted this, uh, and it's just funny, it's a funny thing in 2019 to be excited about an RPG doing this, but uh, one of the trainers Trainers, are you sitting down, Kyle? Yeah. Challenged me diagonally. Oh. So it wasn't just a straight north, south, east, west. Haha, -ha, you've crossed my path. I challenge we're you. We're talking Metal Gear Solid Wait, Vision. Yeah. Counts. Oh yeah. Okay. We're going. We're adding four dimensions. <laughs> Which I mean, like <laughs> Jones. The the, the the hot challenging action. It has been twenty <laughs> years since I've avoided a trainer battle. Do you know what I mean? It's been twenty years since I went. Oh, they found me! Dang yeah, it! Yeah, right. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah. always, I'm just trying to fight you. <laughs> it's like. Um, nice though. Yeah. So, so I'm 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 bringing out some people. I'm trying out some things. I just at this point I just want to see new abilities. And I got like this is like six v one. So like I know I got some Pokemon to burn. So sure. I'm trying out some some new dudes. Let me see if there's anybody I specifically missed that I haven't like talked about using. Yeah, three Obviously starters, I didn't have the legendaries. Uh, um, oh, brought out Yipper, Wulu. Can't remember Wulu doing anything specific. I don't remember what ability that I used. Um, and again, I used Sobble at the beginning, but I got Grookey out when I get to Dynamax. Okay. So, uh, so who she, Dynamaxed first? So she, uh, I, I, I did. Oh. So I Dynamax, and then she Dynamax is immediately following it. Of course. And it just the there was strategy. no there was no big crazy ceremony. The icon just popped up, mm -hmm. and I think he knew because even before I saw it, the PR rep leaned in and he's like, "You're gonna want to Dynamax this round." I was like, "Oh, okay, cool." Or just po pointed it out, like, "See that you're icon." You're gonna want to do this. So you're I mean, believe so this you're was gonna the first round. You both Dynamaxed first round. No, 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 no this no, was no. like oh, okay. the fourth, probably third or fourth. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, Pop it, you know, Grookey gets super huge, uh, uh, Dreadnought gets super huge, 
uh, the second round of Dynamax just annihilates Grookey. Like hits Grookey with a good, like about forty percent, and then just crits the hell out of Grookey, knocks Grookey out. No. So I'm two rounds into this Dynamax and I'm I'm out. You I, have the I don't type have my advantage. Dynamax. So yes. So he did a, his first attack was super effective. Yeah. And then whatever move it used, it was a, it was a it was a rock move. It was this giant slab. Oh, that's uh -huh. right. That yeah. That he built down up that, and it then it he uh, did the same thing twice. Buff uh, was it a. Uh, when you're buffeted in like a uh, sand or whatever, mm -hmm. did that to him. So he's taking damage over time as well. Um, the second one of that did a crit and killed him. So he took like fifty about oh, fifty so he got damage. Lucky. Yeah, he got. So I just had a yeah. little bit yeah. to take off, but yeah. it just yeah. So he uh, dropped him, and then you know <laughs> he's still Dynamax, <laughs> and I got you know I'm like oh no, I don't I don't want to you know throw something out and then not have something that because at this point I'm not worried about doing damage. I just want something that's not going to take a lot of damage from this guy. And so I got one more Dynamax hit coming, and I'm just like, you know, Yamper, sorry, buddy. Just <laughs> throw him out. Just this little tiny puppy dog staring at <laughs> a huge dreadnought. He can't heal in battle. And um, oh yeah, he couldn't heal in, in this. Sure, um, no healing. And yeah. just yeah. huge water attack, just <laughs> <laughs> just annihilates. Yeah, just like, like, it's not very effective. Sorry, kid. It's just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, cute little dog. <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> and, um, oh, they had one, what was, like, the waterfall attack? There was some cool water no, attack waterfall. that a couple of them would do. Waterfall yeah, yeah. Yeah, Where they would, used, yeah, they would go uh, up. And, that's yeah, right, would... Goldeen used, uh, waterfall. Goldeen, that's right. Um, and, uh, so that was another Pokemon, another classic Pokemon I'm familiar with. Sure. That was also in there. And then, that's when I brought out Corviknight, and, um, Corviknight did some, I think, Drill Beak, maybe? Sure. And, Drill Pack, uh, I think we had there. Drill Pack, and that yeah. did a little bit, and that's when the guy was like, you're gonna wanna... You know, steel wing or whatever it is. Oh, gotcha. And uh, use that, beat it. Uh, um, suddenly, me and the, of course, the gym leader, friends now, gives me the the badge, and that's when um, well, uh, Damiani pointed out, like, oh, the ring. Like, initially, wonder... Nessa was not happy. Oh, that Nessa she lost oh, of course. to you. Great. She threw a fit. She had a little bit of well, fits. Like, why did I? How did I lose to you? Yeah. Like, what, what leader doesn't throw a fit? Yeah. I thought like no. I, some of them, it's been like. Oh, I'm good so match proud and of stuff. You. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah, all happy. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it gets there, yeah. but initial reaction was like, no, she I was win. overconfident. Well, I was like, mm, okay. Sure. A little salty. And again, just always, it's, again, it's probably just a super nitpicky thing. Pokemon fans are like, Jones, get used to it. That's just the way it works. But like, weird to, to beat her. And it's like, you had one Pokemon. Come on. You know, like just one against like my whole team, but obviously it's a demo. Like, and and certainly it was it was really fun booting up that menu and having all of the new ones there, uh, being able to go in and see their abilities, being able to to scan all the Pokemon being thrown at me and see what types there were. Um, I was actually thinking this morning, I want to make like Pokemon flashcards. I wonder if you can buy those that are just simple type, you know, I'll recognition. Make them for you. you know, like. You don't have to do that, Kyle. I can. I got index cards at home. I can do. It. <laughs> I'll make them. You're like you. I've color coded them. I, yeah. I drew. I drew little pictures. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, actually, that's a question. Uh, Sun and Moon did a thing where it would tell you which moves will be su uh, super effective. No. Yeah. So that's gone. Well, there's. Uh, I, I didn't see it for sure, but there's an information option where you can mess. Uh, not mess over. You could Why hover button? over uh, the other opponent's Pokemon to see their types and then the moves that they have. What? Yeah. So you can see what attacks your opponent has? Yeah. Yeah. That is Oh wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. That might not be true. It might just be type, just the type. and their stats and stuff. No, okay. Sorry. Even that's pretty crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll it'll, it'll tell you this uh, yeah, it's types. Uh if it's uh, you know one or two types. They're all two no, Not all no, two types not, now. Most of the new ones are now though, right? Just for the gimmick? Sure. Yeah, just for gimmick. And then yeah, it had a bunch of stats, I believe. I don't remember if it showed their moves or not. I don't wanna like be uh oh, that's that's huge a huge news, huge deal. But I mean like even that, even Looking at them and having the why thing to say, hey, th this Pokemon is these two types. That's so much easier. You don't need the cards, Jones. Well, I can see their type, but I don't know what it's it's weak against. Got it. So that's the thing. Like sure. you, you give me like Earth, and I'd be like, you uh, need the table, water. Yeah. You gotta have the, the rock. I think is like, the flow yeah. chart. That's what's dumb is there's there's rock and ground, Jones, and they're not that different. Right? <laughs> yeah, rock and ground's what I was saying. And they're almost, like, and they're uh, just not even earth. that different. Yeah. Yeah. I always called ground earth. Uh. Um, but looks great. You know, D definitely best looking Pokemon game I've ever played. Like, doesn't look. Uh... That's not the best looking Pokemon game I've ever seen. Oh, what's the best well, looking right, Pokemon no. game? <laughs> oh. uh, you know what? I'll say uh, Soul Silver, Heart Gold are best looking Pokemon games. All right. Uh, I think we have to discuss the big hubbub though. Oh. That you can't transfer any Pokemon into this game. From, yeah, from I, I heard these rumblings. Well, Again, not something we asked the, the PR that. people there. Or... There's, that, there's another qualifier to that statement you're forgetting. Oh my. So there is a certain Pokedex number in this new game. 
if I have, uh, what was a Goldeen? Mm -hmm. I can transfer in a Goldeen. It's because it's like, oh, that's part of our, what's it called? Gallos? Galar. 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 Uh, uh, if it's part the of the Galar, decks, the, yeah. po the, nat the Galar decks, Original I can bring decks, in that Pokemon. Pikachu, presumably, will come in just fine, but there'll be some limit. Oh, we've seen in the trailer, yeah. 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 So there's base there's there's the original decks, but there's no national decks that you can, you can't bring the national decks over anymore. Yeah. Essentially, yes. yeah. And they also I think they also saw before I came in and confirmed that uh, there will be no mega evolutions and no Z moves allowed in this either. That's been confirmed. I believe so. Wow. So it's just a hard cut. Yeah. Wow. Just give it the X. But people are really upset about this because that was the whole Pokemon Home pitch. Remember we talked yeah. about this, Joan? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get to bring my old Pokemon right. from whatever back. And it's now it's, uh-uh, if it's not in that registry for Galar, you can't bring it in. It's yeah. like, oh, I mean, obviously I'm, the favorites are probably going to be there. But if, like, the classical favorites. But if your what if your classical favorite isn't what the Pokemon company says is a classical favorite? What if it isn't Pikachu or Raichu or Gouldeen? Yeah. What happens then? That's one thing I've learned is that every Pokemon is somebody's favorite Pokemon. Yeah. There, there will be so much heartbreak once they release the final list of Pokemon that can come on in. If Farfetch isn't in this, I mean, is it, is it over? Yeah. <laughs> if Farfetch <laughs> yeah, is in. Yeah, you can but, play with Damiani. I'm out if there's yeah, no Farfetch. Yeah, Farfetch is out and yeah. Mr. Mime is in. Yeah. I'm, I'm, Charmander's I'm, a lock, I'm, right? I'm, right? Yes. Right? I mean, uh, Charmander? Maybe Charizard, but I... How funny if you can transfer Charizard but <laughs> no Charmander. Watch them not. <laughs> yeah. uh, there has been a Charizard. Uh, the, that yeah. guy who's the best leader in yeah, the world. Leon. Has a, yeah, Leon's yeah. got a Charizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, it's a it's a factor. Uh, I kind of... I'm on, I'm on both sides here where it's like, hey, they got to, like, cut off some stuff sometimes to, like, make a game unique in itself. Uh, but it, as Damiani said, that's what the the sell, this whole sale of home is. That's what the, the, the sale for bank was. Right. Hey, mm -hmm. you'll be able to take this Pokemon with you for the rest of your life. And, and so sell specifically because they just announced it, you know. Yeah. So it's odd to, like... You know, get get the 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 marketing for this game going, and then announce this database on top of it, and then and say like, oh, they're not actually doing anything together. It's like, then why why now are you? Because it isn't yeah. home, home's like next year. We're getting this game this year, and then home is next year. Home's next yeah. year. Yeah. So I was like, what weird? Yeah, I'm already what that's setting up for out on home before all this news. I, when I found out that uh, your Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, those specific ones are stuck in home, cannot come over because yeah. the the restrictions they want to place on them for transferring. I said, oh, oh, I was all excited about that. I had a personal relationship here, nice friendship bond with my Pikachu, looking cool and stuff. Couldn't wait to roll out in the Gala region. Not gonna happen. I was like, all right, buy a Pokemon Home. I don't care about you anymore. And now this information is like. Okay, fine. You know, you do you. I'm just gonna have to treat every Pokemon as this, you know, sterile little like you know instrument to help me conquer, you know, the Pokemon world instead of a, a cute companion who's gonna form a friendship with me. Yeah, uh, they're goldfish instead of dogs now. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you're goldfish. Like okay, like okay, I love you, Herbie, but like you're gonna die. You know what I mean? But like, like on, dogs, you can love for longer. For me, and again, this isn't like a you know. And our, you know, my, my like take or or a debate really oh, is God. just like yeah. I, you know, there's so many new Pokemon to me you know, that I'm still discovering that like I don't think this will inf affect my enjoyment of the game. Oh sure. Which like you know, is just just my stupid experience. Yeah, but I got like so Jones, I got a, a squad of elites. I have a squad of high level Pokemon who I love dearly, and it's like I'm just waiting for you know the the other shoe to drop to find out like which of my elites I can bring in. It's scary, dude. Yeah. Mm. And uh, menu was pretty, you know, going through the, the menus and they, stuff. It was, nice, it was nice and clean. Yeah, they did some good stuff with Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee as well. Like, the instead of using the, like, Fly HM and stuff, you went to that, like, Pokemon special menu and had, like, a cool stylized kind of, like, logo for, like, the, 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 the balloon chair thing you use, oh, the, you rode. Yeah. And then, like, uh, like going surfing or whatever, using water, like, riding on water. Like, they had really cool, like, logos and stuff and, like, the special in it, like... And that's been incorporated into this game? Well, I'm saying, like, before, like, I think they're building off of, like, that style where they're going sure. a little bit, like, flashier. They understand that, like, many design can go a long way to, to you know, appealing to you. It's such a bummer to me the demo is a gym. Why? It, it, I mean, it... Why? That, to me, like... Yeah, I just think it's... 
it just makes sense. Like, like what I played, I was like, that's an E3 demo. Like that's the perfect thing that people can go up and check out. And then, and, 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 and the more I think about it, like for me personally, like both of us were just going nuts over those fields. We were just like, oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. This is so fresh. This is such a different experience. Like I want to yeah. check that stuff out. But I imagine like if you were to roll the dice, like on what would make, not roll the dice, but like if you were to try to figure out, like really get in the mindset of like your average crazed Pokemon fan that's like, I, I just want to check this game out. To me, I would imagine it's all about the Pokemon. It's like, I, I, I got to throw out Wooloo. I got to do it, you know? And, like, would I necessarily get the opportunity to do that if you put me in a situation where I can just kind of free roam around this area? Yeah, man. As opposed to just, like, the you're in the gym, there's a trainer, fight it right now. And There's and a Pokemon I'm going to fight you right now. Yeah. I mean, the thing with the wide open area, it's like, it'll be nice to walk around. I won't disagree yeah. with you on that point. But the concept, they said, like, to, to encounter anything, it felt, like, meaningful. Like, you got... Like, weather will change once a day. Yeah, they're not going like, to experience like, that. Like, like are they going to speed that up for you? Like, oh, today was, like, oh, today's day, you can maybe see one of them. Good luck finding it in this giant area. And you just come across the same, like, you know, Damiani, Pokemon over and over again. How soon you've forgotten the Breath of the Wild E3 demo. But you, they didn't care if you ran into rain or not. But the differences in Pokemon, yeah. you're just going out. There's no dungeons to find. There's no, like, items to find and equip that, like, cha like that change the dynamic of combat. This is just going out to catch and encounter Pokemon. There are no Kyle items to equip that change combat. It's How dare you, Kyle? Real, like it's still combat is still hit choosing a move or choosing an item to use. It's not revolutionizing or like radically altering <laughs> I know. I that, know. Kyle. I know. <laughs> like I didn't find a shield and now I like I didn't have a shield yet. Oh, I got a shield. I can go surfing on it. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I got a lightning rod. Okay, I got a fire sword. Oh, it burns thing. Like there's not good. I don't think you have that level of discovery and immediate gratification. I think Pokemon's going to be more methodical. It's going to be, I'm going to learn to, like, I'm going to have to track Pokemon. I'm going to have to, like, w like learn about the weather patterns and where what region they're going to be in. And then it's going to lead to those raid battles. Like, they're not going to let you do raid. Like, if it was a raid battle, they would have let you just do yeah, the yeah. battle They had to show itself. Dynamax some so, way. Yeah, they so had Kyle, to show right. my then, disappointment yeah. was not seeing those Max raid battle. I thought sure. that should have been yeah. the Ooh, demo. That I totally forgot about those. Three yeah. other people, yeah, have multiplayer, three other yeah. people, way interesting. They could have used all... The best part of this is that they threw in all these new Pokemon for you to use right away. Yeah, you had the three starters, yeah, and cool. you had three of the new ones they'd been talking about so much, and you got to see them in action, mm -hmm. and that was really good. And you got to see Dynamax, which, you know, some it, it, maybe it's a gimmick, whatever. You, I, we finally get to see it in action in real time, which is like, okay, now I can judge it on that. A max raid battle would have been way better. But for me, I, maybe I was ignorant before. I didn't know they were having traditional puzzle-based gyms again. Yeah. I, I was like, how do we get to the gym leader? How do we get to fight, uh, what's the other ones we saw named the boy? Uh, Milo. Milo, Milo, yeah. yeah. I was like, how do we get to Milo or whatever? And now Nessa, it's like, you just walk into the gym doors and it's like, oh, here, here walk out onto the field. Like, what's that about? And now it's like, there will be traditional things there. And I'm like, okay. I, I like, what a way to answer it by letting me experience it. And it wasn't anything new, Jones. Right. I'll give you that. And they, but they kept it really simple and fast. Like yeah. here, here, it exists. I think that was the, the name is. of the game. Yeah, it's, it's the same. No, but here's the, the 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 here's the main course you want to get to. I just uh, I got to know your impression of being a professional athlete within this world. Um, I definitely, I you can definitely feel the scope of. We were talking about maybe having like replays or just some kind of like cinematic quality to the um, to the actual like gym leader battle, and I I didn't get that vibe, but I definitely felt like the impact of the size, like when, when you when the gym leader comes out and you both like cross the field like yeah. in front of each other, you definitely felt like a big event, and like you made a point earlier that like you know when they blow stuff up and just paint it red when it goes into Dynamax, like it doesn't mm -hmm. necessarily does the best service like to some of these Pokemon models, but at the same time like. When Grookey like landed after getting really big, like I could definitely feel like like the earth like when the you know like uh, it started like popping up out of the ground and then when looked it was, the like, exact you know, same a second later. Stop it. Okay. Uh, I just definitely I definitely felt oh and the 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 way that they sounded like you know Grookey like was still like squeaking but it had like you know kind of like a bass to it <laughs> and definitely yeah Dreadnought was you know very you know imposing yeah uh, with his size and stature and. Um, so I, I enjoyed that. I, yeah, on the 80th time, I don't know if I'll enjoy it obviously as much. It, it seems to me they have like a max height. And so the smaller ones grow more than the taller ones do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah, kind of yeah, sure. seems that way. It's really yeah, yeah. weird. And I, I think with the fields too, like if, 
if if we do a, uh, a a gym and then we have the leader, we know you're gonna everyone's gonna be fighting the exact same number of people. Everybody's gonna have the exact same party. Like it's gonna be a setup that everyone can compare notes. Yeah. Where I could just see some people being like, yeah, I only encountered like two different types when I was out in the field. It's like, well, I encountered eight types, and it's like, well, what is it? You know, we're like, what? You know, like that's I, what was beautiful about Breath of the Wild. But that was the point of Breath <gasps> of the Wild. You know what I mean? Like that's the th that's the thing that when you compare those notes, so, it actually makes the game better. But I think yeah. just judging by Pokemon fans, from what I understand about this franchise, I think that could actually run into some issues where people are like, I was actually not really thrilled by, you know, I, I didn't see as many types as I was expecting. You just saw by you didn't Wingle. have those yeah. expectations when yeah, you were you running out into time. the world in Breath of the Wild. You were like, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Whereas I think people, when, we, when, when Pokemon fans like go into that first area, they're going to be like, okay, how's this going to work? I just think they're much more, uh, have much more discerning opinions. And I think it, they, they can really kind of get to the nitty gritty if we're all kind of funneled through this very similar experience. Um, plus the puzzle aspect, which is kind of fun. It's just something else. Like if it's you went into the Pokemon if you went into the though, field, right? it'd be fighting, catch, fighting, catch, and then yeah. you're done. Uh, the, the demo could potentially end when you're right in the middle of trying to catch something, or you see something. Oh, and up oh, demo's over. Yeah. Where like this had a very gratif you know, satisfying finish. Like aha, I won that battle. Shook hands with her. Got the badge. I get you. You know, E3 2019. Yeah. I have a locked and loaded game freak rant that I think I have to stu I have to pocket. We got so many other game I coverage mean, to do. Like tonight, I think I have to put that one in my back pocket. Yeah, maybe, maybe this scratches it, Kyle. I was just gonna say the reason I'm so against the, a demo of the the wild area. Yeah, I don't think Game Freak has proven themselves that they can. They they're capable. Like nothing in their track record has shown that they can like deliver an excellent experience, like open world environment experience like that. Yeah. Whereas Zelda, I had way more faith in what I had sure. seen and yeah. their in the in the pedigree there. Mm -hmm. And I would worry that it, they would just make a really boring, bad demo for that. And that's something you're probably going to want to spend your, a lot of time in. It, it ultimately could be good, Kyle. And I, I just don't think they were going to make it work in a demo and it might have done it a disservice when it ultimately might actually be good, but you're getting like an hour or something to really like yeah. deep dive into that. It. The other thing too is, and this is just me, but like, I hope the wild areas are kind of dull, you know, like just kind of like relaxing, I'm you know, that like, I'm actually with you. That when you people do, say that it looks just, empty, I'm like, just cool like oh, okay, yeah. no, I already caught that type. I don't know. Ooh, what's that guy in the distance? As opposed yeah. to just like, Hey, what's going on? Hey, I have a quest for you. Hey, exciting things constantly happening. I'm actually with, with And you again, right there, like yeah. E3 demo, I only have a couple minutes to spend with this thing. Do I want to do something that's like, Hmm, relaxed. I get you. That's uh, why I think, you know, uh, I don't know if somebody got, I don't know if IGN got hands-on with Animal Crossing, but we didn't. Um, but uh, Guaranteed uh, they did, dude. It, um, again, I, I, if they had some demo you get to wait in line for, like, I don't know how satisfying this version of Animal Crossing would be to play in I saw minutes. a video they have. There's, like, an IGN store that you can, like, go to. <laughs> they went from uh, so fitting. <laughs> I see. Um, one last thing, Kyle. Yeah. Really disappointed. No special like entrance for like the final gym leader battle. In terms of like they don't come out to like music or anything like that. Jones was telling me they have a special entrance. No, isn't it just the it's just the Oh I'm sure oh, it's the same entrance does. that every single Got Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. Like I want like yeah. I wanna get when I get my rotation gets up, like I wanna like can I pick a song? Can I have like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, I, 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 yeah I wanna effect. like yeah, where's my rep? Where's the rep mechanic in this game? Okay, so real quick before we like go WWE games. Yeah. I wanna edit my intro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna run down each of the Pokemon and uh, tell me like good Pokemon, bad Pokemon. Okay. okay. Grookey. I, I, I like him more now, actually. I, he's, he's he's growing on me. Damiani. Uh, good. Score Bunny. Fantastic. Great energy. Damiani. Good Pokemon. Sobble. Uh, good. I wish I'd used him more. It was a water gym. Mm -hmm. But adorable, of course. Damiani. Good Pokemon. Wulu. Good. I, I, I've. I, it didn't. Wulu didn't Best really fit Pokemon. this battle. Best yeah, Wulu didn't really Pokemon. fit this battle. I, I wish I had. Uh, I wish I could utilize Wulu in a situation where Wulu could kick some ass. Damiani. Wulu is meta. Cool. Is Soak the move that you used to turn it into a, a water Pokemon? Yes. Got it. Ooh. Um, Gossiflor. Uh, 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 <laughs> sure. Yeah. I had fun because it was a flower and I had Score Bunny. Dreadnought. Uh, Bad. Very, very imposing. Uh, not. Bad. Bad. Whoa. What's bad? It looks awesome. Yeah. No. It's very imposing as jaw. I don't like a heavy for sure. Sharp angles for like they, its jaw and stuff. I don't like that. Real turtles have that. I don't like that. Oh. Nope. Corvinite. Uh great. Um uh Yeah, there's the, it, interesting design wise because there's not like a lot of depth to it. It's pretty much just kind of one tone. Yeah. Um which would be interesting to see what other if there's any other Pokémon that kind of carry that style of just being like shadow, you know, like 
drenched in shadow. Yeah. But uh, yeah, badass. Damiani. Attitude. Bad Pokemon. Oh man. <laughs> I don't. Somebody's got you know. I don't this like how I don't like how it looks. Uh, I I I think it looks bland and boring. Yamper. Um. A lot of spunk with that little guy. He's got a heart on his butt. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he was my only electric type in the group, so uh, uh, I definitely utilized him. I was glad to have him. Damiani? Good Pokemon. Nice. nice. Yes. Okay. He wears his heart on his butt. Uh, Impy Dimp. A fantastic Pokemon. A really great style. Damiani? Good Pokemon, because it doesn't look like a Pokemon. Mis- mischievous. Yeah. Uh, we won't talk about the legendaries, and we're in the demo. Oh, yeah. yeah. And again, uh, the old something Goss, Elagoss. Didn't oh, yeah, didn't count that. Was one in there. Didn't see her. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much, Kyle Thank Bossman, for, for, for chatting with me about Pokemon. Thank uh, you for checking it out, Jones. Pokemon. Uh, uh, again, apologies to people who uh, either are tuning in on Twitch or watching this archive who were just like, oh, cool, more Pokemon knows, n- uh, news. And, like, yeah, this is not, <laughs> not, not necessarily the takes. This is the guy that you got to play Pokemon? This guy who no, can't Jones, remember what moves there were? Don't discredit and... yourself that way. I think your, your perspective is valuable to many of our audience. Um. I mean, I I certainly had fun. This is this is you know going to be on my uh, my shopping list no matter what. But yeah. uh, um, it was exciting. Yeah, exciting to check it out. Cool. Thank you, Damiani, for the tips while I was going in for helping me with the puzzles and telling me what stuff to pick. Yeah, I was like, I, I was away. texting Kyle. Kyle was just like, Damiani, come, wow, Damiani, that that. <laughs> like, why have you ever reviewed a Pokemon game, Damiani? <laughs> No, 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 no. Chat was saying that when I didn't recognize the move Soak when you originally described it. So we all get that. We all got oh, okay. that. Mm. Yep. Okay. We're all cool. We're all friends. Yep. And none of us know a thing about Pokemon. Yep. We get um, it. We have... Uh, I'm excited about this. I'm going to stick around for this because I'm curious. I watched both of you play this game and I still... Um, I'm excited to hear your takes because both of you seem really excited about this. Um, but we're going to talk... I'm assuming you're talking about Link's Awakening next, right? Probably. Yeah. Are you ready? You it's loaded. It, uh, I did not play this game. We got footage that's locked and loaded. You said you had to go. Do you want to? I mean, I can stick around for Licks and Wake. I think, well, Kyle, wants right. to, I think yeah. Kyle wants to stick around. Yeah. Let's get yes. Daniel Bloodworth in here to talk about Link's Awakening. The thing is, you might want Brad, too, who also played it today. Then let me step out for Brad. Okay. Because um, I think, obviously, you, you'd be, there he Look is. Look at them. They're, like, oh, the bar- they're barging okay, okay, in okay. like, Zone out time. of here, Brandon. Yep. Yeah. What's that? Thanks for You're playing. Calvin? Yeah. What are you doing back there? Oh, oh, man, man, the wow. oh God, I got it. Yeah, yeah how was that hands on session? Sure. It was great. Great. Brad got in the Breath of the Wild room? Yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh, you got to ride around the that little, like, a, the, the, like that uh, big, what are they? I forget the animal name. The, th- the thing you ride on in the in the, the trailer. What did the it look ox? like? Ox. Thank you. Jeez, I'm so stupid. Yeah, you, <laughs> Brad got to ride around the ox. And it's That's really good gift. because uh, you just come up to the left side and you get on it and just like press X to mount. Mm-hmm. And it just auto walks, and then you get off, dude. And, yeah. that's and you the get demo. a piece of the Triforce, and it acts as like a key almost. So you put it in Ganon's body, then you get to control Ganon's dead body. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. And then does is, was the rumor true? Does Zelda go Ultra Instinct? No, not in this one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like they're kind of teasing in DLC, maybe. Nice. Or maybe dude. novelization. I'll pay up. Maybe I'll the pay novel, up, baby. <laughs> the novel. <laughs> Zelda goes Ultra Instinct. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We'll do a nice clean open for blood. Ah! <laughs> do you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, and, and there's think... multiple people here. It's like, I was like <laughs> well, are we just assuming no, I'm doing you're it? You're the one that knows what's in, in the oh, final okay. part of the B-roll. I mean, so someone else could do the, like, someone else could do the intro. First. Someone someone else could I sensed the, the pause intro. with us, and I just kept letting it go. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, I'm like, I can do this, but no one said this. Just... Gonna, let, let, let's be clear. This. We played this. We had a 90 minute appointment in Nintendo. Nice. We spent 45 minutes of that appointment playing. <laughs> yeah. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> yeah. You could uh, you could play this for a long. And time. we're only allowed to show you. Like 10 right minutes. now, actually, I didn't even notice this. That little uh, the wait, entrance. Wait, wait, pause. We need a nice clean open for. Yeah. Blood. We're fine. Oh, you like we this a... open? No. Well, now we have to redo it's... it. <laughs> it's okay. Fine. All right. Roll, okay. We're, uh, Roll just, it back. Just yeah. Just Roll do a cut back. here. And uh, we'll okay. come back in a second. Clean open. With Clean our open in scream. five, four, three, two. Welcome back to. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Got him. I don't even know what happened. Got him. Someone needs to explain that to me. Nice clean open for blood. Take three. Here we go. This time is the. Ch- <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome back to Major League Baseball, sort of. <laughs> I see you for when I need him. Uh, no. All right. Welcome back to our continuing coverage here for our E3 Day 2 Impressions. We are here to talk about... The I'm not cutting the rest of that out. No, d- stop, stop it! Stop it! <laughs> stop it! I'm going to go Ultra Instinct over there. <laughs> <laughs> Instantaneous transmission. Oh, we go to bed. Bye. I'm out of here. <laughs> We're not talking about Link's Awakening now. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, we got, a few of us got to play Link's Awakening. And it's just called The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. No remaster, no remake. Mm-hmm. Just very classy. Keep it clean. Um... Bloodworth played it, Brad played it, I played it, and that was the perfect timing for that sound effect. I hope it wasn't muted. Oh, yeah. Kyle, what's Hold on. on? Why did your the first picture frame say Goomba on it? It wasn't the okay, picture frame. Okay, so pause, pause, for second, pause for a second. Pause for a second. Okay. Go back so, in the house. Uh, Every house has these little stands. There's like pedestals. So before we go, oh, I before see. you, yeah, I see what don't, you're talking about now. yeah, don't actually hit play. So this won't count against the time <laughs> of our 10 minutes. Um, so those no, stands doesn't. right there. It looks, yeah, as B- Bloodworth said, there are probably going to be new collectibles in this game. Yeah. And they've all, so far, they were Mario em- enemies. So there's like Goomba, uh, Shy Guy, uh, Chow Chow, Bow Wow. Um, I didn't see any. Cheap Cheap. There's Cheap Cheap. There's something called Chow Chow. Cheap oh, okay. Cheap. I didn't see that one. Yeah. There's something called Chow Isn't Chow. is that the little one? The little Bow Wow? I believe so. Maybe? Little Bow Wow? Yeah. Uh, this reminds me of uh, Wind Waker a little bit. Yes, it's the. I think it's going to be the figurine stuff. That's cool. I absolutely think so. Do you so. think we get a camera Pal- at some point? Maybe. I oh, mean, because yeah, there, there is a, a camera, camera thing in there. So yeah. remember we were asking about what it might do, the, yeah. the camera thing? Kyle, I have a question for you. Okay. That pic- By the picture frames, there's obviously Taryn and Marin in the one on the right that's uh, black and white. Mm-hmm. The color one most directly in front of Link. Do you think that's another one of Marin, or do you think that's Marin's mother? I'm going to say another one of Marin. Okay. I'm gonna say Marin's mother. Okay. All right, we got we, we got two we, theories. We got two theories. Kyle, so game theory enhance. Yeah. Are you bothered by this tree? No. I'm, I'm I didn't notice it until just now. Oh, I'm that bothered it, that by it this comes tree. Out of the ceiling. It comes I, out no, of the I roof like that somehow. Because yeah. No, because there's like a roof up there. Oh, we gotta get into this argument. It's I don't want to. Sh- I don't want to get into this argument. Skip it, dude. I, I love how. The design. I like all the little trinkets there. I love the mushrooms. I, I love do, the cutting yeah. board. I love the eggs. A little tea. Tea set, yeah. Look at I that. Flowers. It feels like people live in this house. Where's it's even it it's even be? better. It was good before. Where's it's the bathroom, even pal? better. Oh, they just go to the beach. Ba-na-na-na. Yeah, you That's get uh, terrible Damiani, idea. what do you think about getting the Hylian shield? Yeah, it, it, the design of it, it's the Hylian shield. I mean, it's cool. Just c- but it's, for cons- in the original, it's not Hylian. It's yeah. just a shield. Yeah. It's just consistency sake. I like how you're getting to see the, the this kind of like tilt shift miniature effect here in action. What's wrong, Kyle? I just want to hear the music a little bit. Oh yeah. I'll Who's show. playing this? Is uh, this, this is Damiani's run. Oh, pro play. Yeah. Oh wait, no, is, is it my is it your run or my run? You went for the top one. I went for the bottom one. That's how <laughs> I can tell. Okay. But it, it, like it felt good. It, it felt good to play. I love how everything looks. There's a nice color shift I there. I love. The Look at music. This. Ow. Love the music. Yeah, the music's good. Yep. Like this new take is really good. Like even the jingle they play when you get the sword. We couldn't inspect the sword to see the name engraved on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had to see. I had to see Sale. I was this like, is good stuff. They had, ch- they had Animal Village open. No, no this is this is beach. by the beach. Oh right. So right. Okay, pause okay. for a second. Uh, we didn't get footage of it. Uh, we had a, a minor snafu, but I actually did the trading sequence uh, and did like got to see him munch the food down the canned food. Yeah, uh, it was really cool. That is really cool. They made a custom animation just yeah. for that moment. Yeah, yeah. That went cool. beyond. Look at those lollipops. Look He's at got that. lollipops. Look at that like Dude. coconut over there with a the straw. I wonder in if it. there's a Donkey Kong tie into this. Part. Oh, there better be. Anyway, we had some secrets. Also, the music in there. Love that little animation. His expression. Mm-hmm. Wow. He so looks happy. happy when he got that. So combat here. So yeah. they, I, they've tweaked combat a little bit. The the pacing is just a little bit different. Like they back up. Like pause it for a second. This is great stuff, by the way. The those moblins, just the the spear moblins. 
normally they just like they they react to you and stuff, but like them backing up and kind of like timing their throw at you, mm -hmm. uh, it felt like you had to actually kind of like put some timing into your swings. Otherwise, you get hit mm -hmm. by one of their their tosses essentially. And later on, you're gonna see something uh, a sword and shield mob uh, uh, enemy who essentially was like easy to kill before, like not even an afterthought. You actually have to put a little bit more effort into it. Yeah. Uh, do they still have acorns? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. you should wait. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You should wait. So caves, Kyle. Good. I don't know if you like Link's Awakening's caves. Oh, I love the music in the I caves. I like the yeah. crumpling effect that goes on when you walk over those panels. Now. Do -do -do -do. Very nice. I like. They kept the That's little. That's the same, right? Yeah. They kept mm -hmm. like the very nice, nice. They kept all those little quirks. Love it. Uh, actually, I really I like the little connecting. Tiles. Yeah, you like the fade there. Yeah, like the oh, it's overhead. It's like you're being obstructed. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Nice. Hefty sound effect when you push. Yeah. This. So this enemy, wa watch this. So you have yeah, to like get them off, off otherwise you can't just spam. They you won't hit them. So you got to knock them off balance. Can't you get that piece of heart now? No, you can't lift up those skulls. Got it. Uh, I like how the grass kind of slows you down when yes, you walk through it. Yes, holding the shield does it too. I like. I really like the interpretation of the trees too. Yeah. Because you know they always had those rings, but it was like, what do those rings actually there signify? And the music that Stops. plays, and then you got the glow. So it's much less annoying. Oh yeah, the, the original. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's, so it's almost loud. like it's. Uh... Love this. Yeah. Getting your like little really magic powder. Look right. at your little mouse rat. I did. Yeah, the little. Yeah. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Just getting some items here, so pause for a second before this. Uh, so the inventory system, I know people have been asking, you probably looked it up by now, but sword is perma-mapped to uh, a face so button shield. on B, and so and shield, shield is, R. is R, uh, R trigger. Yeah, and that, I think so I figured that out straight from the you reveal only, trailer. You only, yeah, you only toggle unique items between X and Y, and you can cool. set one at a time if you want. You can just have one up mm -hmm. instead of two. Cool. All right. Thank you, Ian. Also, that little spell book back yeah, there. And stuff. So I tried cool. to read it, Kyle. Okay, so this is important. Pause at right here. So in the original nice version effect. of this, yeah, in the original version of this, Kyle, this buzz blob, when it changed, you could talk to it. You could still talk to this here, but it actually said some lines of dialogue about that people thought uh, referenced the Nintendo 64. Because it has so millions of polygons. Hi, I'm a new system about to come out, blah, blah. I do millions of polygons. Oh, Everyone's yeah. talking about me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now you're going to see what it says instead, and it's actually relevant. Has the relevant. Here we go. I'm changed, Blob. And that's not all. Now that I have lips, I fantasize about playing one of this island's songs on the flute. There are three hot local hits. Oh, he's giving hints. All yeah. three of those bloppy blops are <coughs> magic. If no other tool will do the job, pull out one of those songs and when you whatever. It's oh. basically about the three songs. Yeah. 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 And that's all I'll say. Hints. Really cool. I don't know if there are other ones say something different, but that one, yeah. I Good find. I was very curious what they were gonna do with that, and I had it answered. Alright. Continue. Can continue, please. That oh. music. Oh, the effect. It's timed now. There's actually a, a ticking clock that goes tick, 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 like when it's about to run. Like hear it. Oh, well, we cut. I uh, love anyway. the way he looks at the raccoon. Yeah. yeah. Like. Yeah, I don't know if we hear it, but it definitely like does like a clock effect. Like it's about to run out. Like a sped up clock. Mm -hmm. Love this. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it's so good. That reaction when he first yeah. starts spinning. Man. around and look who it is. Mm -hmm. It's it's Terran with those mushrooms that he's picking in the forest. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Like love these new animations. And I love how they change the camera at mm -hmm. times. Yeah, for effect there. Hey, Damiani, it's hard to tell from the video, but how, was the frame rate stable when you were playing it? So, um, so the the basically the interiors because they're still tile based, those were pretty solid. The exteriors, yeah. Whenever you're moving around, basically when the the map is moving. It, it definitely seems it's inconsistent. When you went down to the beach, it got pretty rough. Yeah. But when you fell down to the well, it's like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because the it's it, it's no longer 4.3, it's 16.9. Yeah. And they're not locking uh, f uh, scenes to confined by boundaries now. You could see beyond. 
for me, it seemed most notable noticeable during that the auto scrolling that's happening now to keep the world moving. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I, it seems to be tied to that for some reason. Otherwise, I don't notice it happening when I'm just like walking in tighter, like like uh, close up angle, uh, close up shots essentially. Especially in the dungeon, I didn't notice it at and all. And normally, I'd say shame on you, like how how demanding could this game be? But I, you, you see a lot of stuff they're doing with the texture and lighting that's actually really nice. I yeah. get it. I get it a little bit. And like this far before launch, like they yeah, can still a optimize. Lot of time, and yeah, yeah they, they can probably oh, fix July, it. August, they got three months. Yeah, that's, that's it. They're not going to do it. And that's actually only two <laughs> it's months. It's going to run worse. It's only two months because they got to print it I suppose, yeah. Sure, but I mean, patch they'll, have, they'll have a day one patch Day one sure. patch. Will this have a day one patch? Is this Unreal 4? Yes. Are you sure? No. Okay. So I actually, if you pause for a second, we actually asked who the developer was. Um, oh, or I did. I asked the yeah. who the developer was, and they said that they would have to ask, inquire about it, and follow up with us later. So, so they don't even know. Yeah, we'll never hear. This just you shows just up. Either they don't know, or they're, they're yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, love this. The Tail music. Cave, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, so now it's really smooth. Yeah, mm -hmm. look at it. It looks like 60. The, the bass during that dun, 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 It's so like chunkier I love that They got the keys again You have to actually uh, Manually open doors It, it mm -hmm. looks like it might chunk a little bit When it goes from room to room It looks pretty smooth Yeah Maybe it something. might depend on the piece power. Of power And like It's actually got chunked off Chopped off right there So it's really a piece of power Yeah like, It makes you move faster And it's got the red glow you know what? The song is less annoying. It's still annoying. <laughs> I'd still rather hear <laughs> the dungeon. does not like it. Me <laughs> too, pal. They, they well, got to put that in the options. But it, it, it's like way more manageable. Sure. Like you how it changes in the options yeah. and like, like yeah. it, it, it sticks to turning the sound up uh, mm -hmm. for the next 10 minutes. Love the eight, uh, eight directionals now instead of four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, they made that bombable secret pretty obvious. Oh, look, obvious, so this room, oh, this room more. isn't yeah. restricted to one tile. Yeah, it used to not be that. Scan those keys. And, uh, coming up here, you'll get to see, uh, the rock's feather. How jumping mm -hmm. looks in this game. Also, I like the lock doors. Cut, look cool. Are you speedrunning right now? No, we do cut. We did a lot of cuts. But here. you ignored that chest. Sure, oh, because it's rupees. Room. We don't need to see the rupees. So you knew it was in that chest. Yeah, in interest of like showing off more. We we did a lot of we did a lot of playthroughs. We we, got it, we got saw it. a lot of stuff. Eat another acorn for you. It looks like it's floating in mayor. I avoid it, but it looks like it nice. got caught oh, yeah. on there. Yeah, yeah. it's like all over the corner of the thing. They do the owl beaks again. So you gotta get the beak. If you want a hint, right? Yeah, if you want the hint. Same thing here. Using the shield. Oh, cool. You hear that? It sounds that's a horrible sound. Oh, they sound like so innocent. <laughs> they attacked you. All right, here we go. The huh. side view. Nice. The, the Mario part. Like what it is? Look at those Goombas. They're like, Look at those like, grins. The, those grins. They're just like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It, it, it gets its revenge here, Kyle. You can't just drop down on them like that. I'm oh right, because you could just like slowly go right. I'm buying a Switch Pro. <laughs> Day one. Yeah. What is that going to do for this? This needs some work. This needs some work? Yeah. What do you mean? A little framey. There you go. You got your rocks feather. So I was curious if this one you attach to X or Y as well. Yep. You do. Yeah. Cool. I didn't like the jumping animation, honestly. Tell me why. Yeah, what's wrong with it? I don't know. I, it, like, it looks weird. He's got weird yes. hang time. He's the tucking. Flip, the flip happens really early. Yeah. He's tucking. But like immediately. Yeah. All right. You're in a tuck flip. Oh, weird to me. Spin it fast. <laughs> All right, we got the nightmare key now. Brad right. speaks from experience. I've been on so, some trampolines in my day. Tuck fast. This guy here. Uh, we race him in trailers, so we're just like, go away. We don't want to fight oh. you. The music though during this. I like these early dungeons where you have three hearts. Feels exciting. Threatening. Yeah. Look yeah. at that explosion effect. And then it. I'm hoping they put in like a hero mode, like the recent Zelda. You know All what? Right. That would be really cool. We're about to get to the Blood War stuff. Some of the more the the, the town stuff, a little bit more ex exploration. Nice. Uh, we we cut it here because we'd like you to uh enjoy it, the boss battle. Did you die? 
No. Okay. Making sure. The timer on the demo ran out. Yeah. Oh. We don't want to spoil what happens after this. That thing is a burger now. So the trendy game, they redid the trendy game. Oh, it's not it on the conveyor belt different. anymore. Wow, it's just static, three static items, and then two on those like moving platforms. Look, it's Jones's favorite. Wait, so I can Nintendo just go character. get that Yoshi whenever I want? Watch this. Yeah. You gotta. Do we, do we cut to the ones where I actually no, got things? No, we don't. <laughs> so we get, just get the whiff. Well, we, did, we lost. Cool the, we lost my statue, footage. Dude. We lost my clip where right. I got this. Oh. So. Right, but I got the, got the rupees. So was... Yeah. We were just cutting really fast. We're sorry. We yeah. made no, we made Bloodworth look bad. Bloodworth did get everything. He's good. Look at this. Oh, the look family. At the potions there. But look at all the, the, the pedestals they got in their look house. Look at the hats they have for them. All the matching hats. Uh. Wait for it. Really cool. Yes. She'll sing the whole thing. Oh, oh the fishies. Fishies. So good. good stuff, blood. Look how stupid this does look from the side. Look at his face. <laughs> face. Yo, it's, like, it's like the soulless Link is looking at me right yeah, now. Yeah, it is pretty yeah. soulless. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lunker. And look at the reward you get, Kyle. The voices are very it's... Zelda. Yeah, they're very Ocarina of Time. The middle weight lure. Deep waters. Cool. And then you get your piece of heart. Good stuff. All right. That's all the footage we oh, have to oh. show. Dang. But, but oh. there, there was some more stuff. So in the yeah. clip we lost that. Uh, well, wait, 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 we didn't get in it. It was in my clip. I oh, was yeah, apparently yeah. one of the first people they saw like actually like summon the cuckoos. <laughs> yeah, no one was brave enough to go just, just whack him. I wouldn't do it. And, and make him angry and yeah. come after you. So Blood got to see that. Blood was the brave one. Tried it out. Got to see that. So that is back. Wait, and, brave one or sadistic one? I don't people are, I think people, I think people yeah. are like, no, I'm gonna die to that, and that might trigger game over, which I mean it might trigger the demo to end for me and I wasted my time. I'm sick I'm not by the vision of blood smiling as he whacks a bunch <laughs> of innocent. Yeah, he fowl. did he did catch the fish, so he, maybe he's just cruel to animals. Yeah. yeah, I see. I got it. Uh there was also a bottle in that uh that fish pond. Yes. Is yeah. the bottle new? Yes. Yeah, I thought okay. Uh, but what's tricky about it <laughs> is, is it? It, yeah. if you try to go f just for the it's bottle, just... the fish, when they go to grab yeah. your lore, will knock the knock bottle off. Knock it off. Well, then what's that bottle for? Fairies? I so assume? there are bottles in the game, but the way the way you're doing this now is completely different. I think I saw a fairy in like, the heart footage. container. The heart container piece is actually only from like the bottom fish, I believe. The, the one on the bottom. That's really annoying. Like how you used to reel in was really annoying mm -hmm. if you tried to go for like the one at the bottom first because it would it kept going higher mm -hmm. instead of going it went vertical more than horizontal. Did you get a r lures in the original too? The the like I not that not, not this one that. this no. this one this one's different. Yeah. 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 Um. So that was pretty cool. Um. Some other stuff we did try. So we did try out the obvious stuff, Cal. Yeah. Uh. Did steal from the shop. Mm -hmm. Uh. I stole this the shovel first. Got out of there. Um, felt a little bit harder to do. Uh, dug around, got some rupees. You know, it was nice. Got, uh, would have been, I was like, oh, I'm going to have some digging gameplay. Maybe we'll beat Game Explained to the punch on that one. Mm -hmm. um, went back in, and I got killed. Angry shopkeeper on the on his counter, because all the items are on the back on the counter now. Yeah. He's hopped on it, and he basically goes, Kamehameha, and just, like, zaps you. Yeah. And we don't have footage and, of that? And, and you die. And it's like, wow, 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 wow. Game over. Re come back. You're a thief. Nice. You're all thief. caps? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if it was all caps. Okay. Uh, I went back in, stole again, Kyle. Stole the bow and arrows. I mean, you're already a thief. Why not? Yeah, double yeah. thief here. Yeah. Uh, just going, you know, going for the full thief life right there. Walked out with that bow and arrow. Went around one shotting everything. So cool. Didn't <laughs> so have cool. Oh, no, uh, no footage of that either. Yeah, another thing that uh, didn't make it in that got is uh, you know Orira, the the guy with the the big uh, or the guy with the phone. I was Grandpa, gonna ask, did you call him the yes. phone? Old man Yulira. Or Rira, yeah, something like that. Japanese, I think uh, it's Grandpa. But anyway. Is he just, I think he's just Mr. Right, though, isn't he? No, that's, no, the, that's the person all the way out. in the top northwest. Yeah. The person in the village who answers you on the phone. His house is right next yeah, to the Yeah, and when he tried to talk to him, he's like, I'm shy, please call me on the phone. Yeah. got you. But he's got the biggest, bushiest mustache, dude. It is really? so funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it would, it was so in terms of how it plays, like it felt good. Um, I get the I get the vibe. Obviously, you know it's not they're not gonna make it any more challenging, but they did. It felt like they made slight subtle changes to combat 
to make it a little bit more updated. They did. Oh yeah, I mean it's not grid based anymore. Yeah, yeah. So that that's good enough. It's already huge. Uh, but, eight direction. Yes. Yeah. The very like distinct <laughs> diagonal when you're moving that way. I, I just feel uh, a lot of this extra stuff might be in like post game content. Um, sure. Like the figurines, they talked about the make your own dungeon, dungeon thing. pieces. I'm, I'm, that I can, I'm I thinking that for, man. the base game is going to be pretty close to what it was before. I don't yeah. think the red. Uh, oh, no. we got a good look at the map too. And oh so, yeah, so yeah, Kyle, it pretty much is. They have this beautiful hand drawn map Ooh, that you can see. That's a good idea. And like as that. you fill it in, it does like the the pixel art or like the sprite art. Or, it's not quite that either. It's like yeah, it's, it's, it's still. It's it's not quite. It's almost like like a paper cutout of mm. the map. I, I don't know exactly. It's how like to oh yeah, it. it's like the it's like the, like the if you map made like if you just cut over paper the like cardboard or construction paper and like and arranged it in whatever the pattern yeah. was. So we don't know if the color dungeons here, do we? We don't know that. Uh, which I got to. I mean the the they have the whole hand drawn map, but and by hand drawn it's grayed out it just has like symbols for certain areas you get you see uh eagle tower uh you can see animal village i mean where yeah. it's gonna be but the cool thing uh they're just they're straight ripping it from breath of the wild uh you can place all those icon markers on spots on the grids and the that map cool. so that's you can really like stuff, here's yeah. a treasure oh that's a point of interest so they're letting you do that that's pretty cool nice that's really fun quality of life update um, yeah, because uh, uh, what it, that treasure chest that we passed by, because we couldn't lift skulls yet, you just put a little marker on it. You'll never forget oh, yeah. what that was. Yeah, it's nice. I, I mean, I just like I was telling, I think Bloodworth, or, or I think it was you, Blood, or somebody that it felt like this is a step up from the the level of detail they put into environments and especially like houses to feel like they're lived in. Uh, over uh, Link Between Worlds, Link Between Worlds felt like the first one where it's like we're going to put more items in the houses make you feel like you're they're lived in make you feel like it's a little bit more uh rich with Damiani the... if you love stuff like that oh, oh here we go you're going to love skyward sword <laughs> nope okay. it looks like trash okay oh, okay. Oh, okay i mean it needs this looks any, way okay. better to okay. this looks way better than skyward sword okay. to me <laughs> so look i like both. Oh. it's 11 o'clock no okay. no 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 what? it's 11 o'clock we got oh. it. At l we got four more games that we should get through yeah, okay. in Kyle, this next hour. Questions, Kyle? This is a big game. What else you got, Kyle? Any questions? Uh, were you smiling? What? Were you smiling? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I was absolutely happy playing this. This uh, Honestly, Damiani, watching, talking with you right now, watching your demo makes me feel really good about the game. I can't wait to I play, wanna play it. I want to try to play it one more time, but I probably won't have the time to do it. But yeah. it comes out so soon. Yeah. Three months is not a long wait for me. I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm good. Um, but it felt it felt good to play. Hell yeah, yeah. It felt cool. good. Yeah, Brad, you played it. Yeah, you I liked did. it. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, I just played through the original one again recently too. And I think they made some good adjustments. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah. So next up is Dying Light Two. Brandon Jones. Oh, oh I it thought you were no. you were gonna get in here I, talk yeah. about this. Oh yeah. That was supposed to say oh, yeah. Breath of the Wild Two. I was lied. Brad, to. you don't want to hang in for this? One? I have never played Dying. What do you mean we're like? Well, I mean, I haven't either. I mean, I just okay. have people no, up here to right, hear, right, hear right. the story. The story, the story of the light. Yeah, we're, we're going to start with Huber talking about Breath of the Wild. Story. Breath of the Wild. That's a full, like, separate that's, that's video. Friday. That's a full that's separate Friday. video. Yo, I will derail I'm this whole kidding. conversation to talk about your favorite mummies right now. What? Uh, Mumra. Mumra. No. Emotep, baby. Emotep. Emotep. Yeah, bro. Have you seen Mummy Returns? <laughs> Have I seen the Mummy Returns? Yeah, it's really bad. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> but the first it, Mummy's that, uh, good. What are we talking about? Yo, here? Mummy Returns. I like the I mean, chase. I like mummy Returns too. The, the chase with the double decker bus. Great I scene. Take notes during this. Oh sure. Yeah. That's in two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right at the yeah. beginning. No, I'm I'm really curious about Dying Light two because I also haven't played the first game, but. <laughs> There's a lot of buzz through the hallways Blood about this game. Yeah, this is, and 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 you buzz, you. Buzz, so buzz, here's buzz. the thing: like a lot of a lot of the things that we go to are in meeting rooms upstairs. Like a lot of my time this year has been upstairs in these meeting rooms. It's fairly quiet. There's not a whole lot of crowds up there, but you go above West Hall, and it's jammed mm. because Cyberpunk there <laughs> and Dying Light Two is there, and the whole show there are just people that's like waiting to get in like they are making sure they're showing up on time for these things yeah 
Uh, I just, first of all, Techland, shout out, they had coffee, which was my oh, first, my God. first appointment of the day. And I thought, I thought about getting in that Starbucks line, but I'm like, I just don't want to chance it. I don't yeah. know how long the media line is going to be. I'm getting here much earlier than I did the day before. So I finally get there and I'm ready to go. And I'm, t I'm scared. Cause it's like the, the dark theater, you know, showing and I'm like, Oh no, don't put me in a dark room. I know I'll pass out. Um, so thank you, Techland. Um, a little history with me in this franchise. I Dead Island One. I devoured that game, man. Mm -hmm. I love Dead Island One. Played all the DLC and like, uh, it was interesting because it's one of those games that like you know has warts. You know, like it, it's you know swimming's and sevens like might even be gracious. Like it's yeah. it's just not. It's a it's a game from a dev that has a lot of good ideas, but this this could be a more and I, I hesitate to use the word polish because I think sometimes devs are just like let, we almost kind of work want to work on a new project now like let's just get this thing out um, and uh, it just it had so much promise when I played that first game and Dying Light kind of had the same had the same vibe obviously the movement was so much better uh, the the way the world was changing was so much better the the, the combat felt so good but. Um, I, that world just looked gross to me. Like the character models look gross. Like the I I didn't get any sort of connection. I was connected to the story a little bit, but like when I was talking to a person, it was just like okay, like it, it just felt yeah. so gamey. And like there was just some stuff with horizons and like the ocean and like weird textures. Like it just it just kind of had a, a funk to it. That um, again, did I still play Dying Light straight to the credits? Yeah. Loved it, but um, yeah, I just had some issues with it technically. And I think that's like one of the best compliments I can give Dying Light too is when um, saw it last year and it looked fine, but like when they walked out into the open area, I was like, "Oh, like this this looks pretty." You know, like and 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 a lot of the trailers we've seen, it's like ash and brown and orange and you know everyone smells bad and like we all we're all <laughs> yeah. diseased and the waters run out and that, and I'm like, okay, like that. There, I I I sense the desperation in that. That's certainly a world I want to improve or make worse, depending on the decisions that you make and how you want to shape that world. But from what I saw, there was, I was like, okay, now we got some green. Now we got, the sun is definitely playing against a lot of stuff. Got some really complex, uh, really just elaborate uh, buildings and interiors. A lot of jumping from one skyscraper to another and just fingernails right on the windowsill when we land. Uh, and so that was, that, that felt really good. Uh, I was also impressed this year because they had a great showing last year. And it was like almost like the same exact type of presentation in the sense of like went into a theater mm -hmm. they talked a little bit beforehand watched the demo that was played live both last year and this year and then afterwards took questions which is actually something i would have loved after cyberpunk <laughs> just like give me 10 minutes oh, just to like sure. throw one yeah. question at you uh, uh, but even even some of the people on their team are like yeah, this demo's too long. We keep running over time. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and so they did that again this year, and I'm thinking, like, man, if it even has the same format, like, I'm curious how this demo is going to change. And immediately they're hitting notes that I was like, cool, not only is that stuff you didn't cover last year, but this stuff, like, very much speaks to me. Begin the demo, and we are in, like, their hangout. We're in, Safe like, house. We're in their Safe. bar. Hell yeah. And so we go out, and there's a gal singing a song that is a popular song now, but it was a very much, like, just a... A, it's the apocalypse let's you know get up on the mic and sing it the best you can version and what the people that are partying don't know is that uh, the water's going to get shut down the next day and they're like their whole their whole part of town like there's seven de separate districts the district that they're in is not going to have water and the person who runs the district frank knows this and you know this and but the issue is the guy who controls the water uh supposedly uh, is in his own, uh, you know, separate district, very militant, very huge high walls in his settlement, tough guy to, to, to negotiate with. But Frank's like, we have to. It's not really negotiable whether we're going to have water or not. And then you had a couple of the people on their team that are like, I do not trust this guy. Like, we're, we're not going to meet with this guy. Screw this guy. We should just attack them and just try to take over their base. And he's like, it might come to that, but let's just talk to him. He invited us over. Let's just talk to him. And so, uh, so not only did I dig just this vibe of this... Uh, um, this bar, and so you're going in and people are talking, they're dancing, you go upstairs, and this one guy's upset because he knows the water's gonna get shut down, not Frank, but this other character, and he's, like, on a balcony area, like, on a couch in the corner, just kind of, like, looking at everybody, and I was like, I dig it, I dig this place, this is, like, a, f a, a neat place to go back to. Again, it was, like, what I was missing from these trailers of just, like, bleak, and I'm like, it's nice to get a, a little bit of comfort, a feeling that, like, there is something worth fighting for, there is a lifestyle that some of these people still do enjoy, um, kind of like in Division, where you when, yeah. you, when you go into those settlements, you see kids playing, and you're like, okay, like, there is a quality of life that we can maybe get back to someday if we can all just get along. And 
so so we have this task in front of us that what are we going to do about this water situation in relationship to this um, our, well, potential enemy that we have? And so he's going to come over and negotiate with us. While that's happening, Frank gets shot. You don't see this happening because you're right in the middle of a cutscene, but then you're up above. Oh, crap, got to go help Frank. Perfect opportunity to do the air dive down, take out one guy. Um, so much dismemberment, so much blood. Like, like, like constant crowd. Like, Feel the kill. Co a constant crowd, like, ooh. You just that that noise consistently oh again and again just like chopping heads off chopping legs off chopping arms off excellent um and yeah excellent. I like what I hear yeah uh, and so Frank gets shot with the character who was upstairs in the on the balcony is like taking care of Frank and he's like uh and then they pop up a decision and there was actually a lot of decisions in this game uh, where you could choose where to direct things and the thing that was interesting about these decisions because I think it's interesting with a lot of games uh, um. You know, something like an action game like Assassin's Creed or like shooters are trying to implement more decision making. And I think it can kind of be dangerous because people have a lot of expectations, regardless of how you sell it at all. Like you could say like again and again and again, this is not going to change the ending. And I think people still will kind of expect that or get mm -hmm. to end credits and be like, well, that didn't really influence anything. I feel like I w the road would have ended there anyway. This feels a little different because it feels like this is going to affect right now like you are going to feel the consequences immediately for mm -hmm. this decision like you're going to know w what you are leaving behind and know like and it's it was always a tough call like there was never really an easy uh decision one being uh the guys that you were meeting with take off in a van and there's frank bleeding and it's like did you want to stay with frank you know and help out or do you want to go get that van because what would you have done jones uh was I was frank a nice van. guy I mean, yeah frank's a nice guy but i mean first of all i just met him three seconds ago in the demo so if i was playing it i probably would have left him but also again it's the greater good we got to get that water running because mm -hmm. sucks that frank is shot but we got you know 80 people back in that yeah. bar that are frank not gonna not... be able to drink tomorrow morning frank didn't want them to have water because they're running out so he's trying no, to he, ration he, it he wanted he was the one that's like we need to negotiate with them so oh, he's okay, the one okay, who okay. met with them mm -hmm. got it, got and it, got then get shot but i didn't see what happened and so we take off after this van and this was tricky because he followed a very specific path that had certain sequences in this chase to get to this van that felt a little bit choreographed, that felt like, well, okay, that didn't just happen. Like, that's what you set up for this demo. And they did ask uh, somebody, I was prepared to ask this question, but somebody beat me to it with, they were like, could I just follow the road or could I just, like, hop over cars to try to get to it? And they're like, yeah. They're like, we, we went to... Um, because there was a point where he like climbs up on top of a building and then scans and like, oh, there's the truck. And it's like, what if I didn't know where the truck was? Like, what if I didn't go to a top of a building to try to find it? Like, there was some a lot of circumstantial stuff where I'm like, I'm curious how many different ways this can play out. Mm -hmm. um, so we just lots of parkour trying to to go after this thing. Almost everything that they showed, you can see in the gameplay trailers that they showed off. One of my favorite things got a big reaction was um, if a zombie's near a window, you can shove it out the window and land on it. Mm -hmm. So you can, can like break your yeah. fall when you're going down. Nice. Uh, um, uh, Breath of the Wild parasail jumped off a skyscraper oh. one time and, oh, it okay. and had like the little ropes going down Excellent. and then like took that and dropped that on a rooftop. I don't know if you just have that forever or if that has a cooldown or yeah. uh, specifically, but that was that got another like nice reaction from the crowd. Um, and um, uh, but just ki kind of traditional if you know if you've you know played this before where. Um, he could have, you know, gotten away from a lot of the zombie attacks, but, like, it's kind of fun as he's running through an area just to, like, smack something and decapitate mm -hmm. a guy. There was one point where while he was, he clearly was aiming for the window, and, like, when he glided in, he went right to the window and then immediately decapitated, like, the first cool. zombie in front of him. So it was neat, and you know you can do that, but, like, very obvious the guy playing knows the zombie's going to be exactly there yeah. in this demo. And there was one part, which, again, I wonder if you can avoid, and it was very... He was just kind of scrambling all over the place, and I'm like, "How do you know? You just lost the van. Like, how do you know where you're going? Like, I would be, compl I would be very frustrated with like, I think I just failed the mission because I lost this thing. Was there HUD turned off? Um, I didn't notice a lot of HUD actually, uh -huh. yet, to be honest. Uh, but he um, uh, crashed through the floor, and so he's running along just regular planks, and then falls through the floor right in the middle of just like a, a pitch black room with tons of zombie types all over awesome. the place. Awesome. And so he's like, ah, and like trying to scramble. And two things that he used to get out of it, one was just a general UV light, which was interesting because yeah. it would, like, stun them. Yep. But, like, if you're in a room and they're surrounding you, like, you can't, you know, like, you got, and so he used it one time when he was in a hallway and he had to get to a staircase and it was just, like, stop. And then he would, was able to run past it. And then at one point, you can see this also in the trailer, uh, he climbs up a ladder and a zombie grabs his leg and pulls him off of the ladder. Oh. And then when he gets up, he pulled out, like, a flashlight, basically. It's kind of like a, a black light bomb. It was just, like, a big glowing thing in his hand that he pulled out, and then they all moved away. But that only like, fizzled out after, like, five or six seconds. We so pulled that out, dropped it, and then got back on the ladder. 
and then very Mission Impossible style, finally got back into the one building and the van's right there. And so the, the music's building yeah. up as he's running, <laughs> jumps onto the, the van. Um, there's a, a archer there that you beat up when he gets on the van and then climbs into the car and holds a knife to the driver's throat. And again, you have an option, kill this guy, take over the car, or threaten the guy and tell him to go and get into the... Uh, um, and get to the into this complex. Is it a normal looking car or like a buggy, like in the so a following? yellow van? It's like a, a, a DHL van, okay. basically. Uh, and I think it had like a little modded hole on the top that a gunner could pop up out. Oh, okay, got and it. And that's a guy had a bow and arrow. Um, and uh, enemies had bow and arrows. He never used one, so mm. I, I have questions. But uh, <laughs> uh, decides to let the guy live, which ended up working out because he knew the password of how many honks to do. For the gate to drop to get in the base. Great. So if you killed that guy and came over, they would recognize something was wrong right away. Or you could just choose to just ditch the car when you got close to the complex and find some way to sneak in. Um, but again, it's like those decisions that like it's not going to be too long before you find out like, oh crap, I made the I made the wrong call. Or oh, this is going to be a little more difficult than I had expected because um, I chose to do one thing over the other. So we sneak into this base, and then all of a sudden he recognizes right away like something's. Something's amiss because it's kind of like the division. He's like, there's little kids playing football and everyone's kind of nice and there's no like military training. And uh, your char Aiden, your character's like, he's like, I something's wrong. I, I think we, they painted the wrong picture of this, this, um, this settlement. And the settlement was cool too because it was, it was like metal spires built on top of an already existing. It looked like a penitentiary or like a university or something. And so one thing that they showed, they talked about before they did the demo was uh, a new dark age. So they're like, we kind of, okay. we kind of wanted you to get a vibe of like medieval times, now, like the mm. apocalypse, where like everyone's fortified, everyone's dug in, trust is gone. So it's really just these like big families or organizations that are just like our resources, our stuff, back off. We've lost um, Snapchat. So right, so like so even, much information is just gone. Right, it's like yeah. right when we get close to this complex, uh, seeing it on the horizon, it's immediately just like go away, go away, go away. Very threatening, very imposing. And so, like, you can kind of feel the fear when he's like gets out of the van and uh, sneaks in. Uh, and so climbs up, gets in, uh, stealths a little bit, and then eventually gets caught. And so now he's running through the base with these uh, bad guys chasing him again, just decapitation, decapitation, decapitation. And then finally makes it into the colonel, the commander, I don't remember his name, but the guy that runs this complex. And you threaten him and tell him, we've got to turn the water back on because we need water. And he's like, well, let me talk to fr uh, Frank. Oh, when you get to the base, the guy on the radio calls you and he says, Frank's dead. Frank died. Oh, Damn it. Like, oh. Frank, no. And so the guy if doing you stay the, with Frank, the guy Frank live. The guy doing the announcing was like, mm, maybe we should stay with Frank. He didn't say yes. definitively, but he was like, you know, maybe oh, that no was way maybe, that, maybe that was Frank. a bad call. And they they very wisely set it up because they did a little introduction to these three characters beforehand, and Frank was like right in the front of like the, the, the of the image that they showed. <laughs> so you're like, oh Frank, cool. Like I'm gonna be doing a lot of missions for this guy, and then yeah. dead right in the demo. <laughs> and so. The, 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 the music picks up. There's definitely a sense of distrust. We're like, oh, no, he's going to go on the war path. They killed his buddy. And uh, he gets to the, the general or the commander, and, and the guy's like, well, let me talk to Frank. What's, what's, what's the issue? Why are you killing all my people? Why did you sneak into my base? And you're like, Frank's dead. You killed him. And he's like, I, I killed What are you talking? Did you see my men shoot him? And you're like, no. And he's like, well, then we got to figure out what the hell's going on because I think somebody's lying to you. And then your buddy that was holding, holding Frank, Frank when you left is like, he's lying to you, kill him. And you're like, wait a minute. Like, it's double cross. I don't know, man. Like, I don't trust you. And so, like, this was an instance where they made a decision I definitely would not have. If I was playing this, I'd be like, no, I trust this guy. I need to, I'm not going to act rashly, but in the interest of having a big, cool action mm -hmm. finale, he's like, screw you, run, and starts fighting everybody, turns on the, um, uh, the, the, the water, um, which again was a decision, like, trust this guy or leave. Uh, and then after you fight him, it's like, do you actually want to turn these things on, or do you just want to escape? Choices. And like, mm. yeah. uh, and so we turn these things on. A big heavy comes out. Got a big sledgehammer. Ooh, yeah, like sparking. I'm, good. I want to know about this. And uh, they had actually a really cool movement. The guy would do this like you know classic souls combo where it's just one more attack than you think he's gonna do. Mm -hmm. And he had really cool evasion. Got a little bit of reaction from the crowd of like, oh, that was actually a pretty neat dodge, dodge especially in first person. Mm -hmm. You know, to be to see like the, this you know this big hammer like whoom, go right over his head as he's sliding around. Uh, you have the grappling hook. So one movie that he did, he grappled the roof and then like swung into the guy, Ooh, oh, staggered wow. him, and 
Yeah, it was just kind of slowly whittling away was at this it guy. Was it all dodging? Was there any parrying or? Um, the guy had a hammer, so it was not yeah. a lot. Yeah. Not yeah. a lot of that parry. Um, yeah. Hammer, Hubert. <laughs> and it was and it was nice. Um, <laughs> parry yeah, that he thing. Just had like a little <laughs> little makeshift yeah. like yeah. blade or block it. Um, and then uh, so you decide like got to shut this water on. And, you know, got to you know screw these guys. We're almost officially at war with these people. So you shut the water on, or you turn the water on, and then that via cutscene. Uh, removes the water from around that base. Uh -oh. So now they transition into the next, you know, like basically like the end of the demo, and that not only takes out the water in that area, but takes out the water in a whole other district, uh -oh. which then opens up all those buildings now. So now people are moving into that district, they're going to uh -huh. utilize those spaces. Interesting. It's very enslaved, where like this whole area's been underwater, so it's very green, like all of the buildings Sweet. are stained. You can like see the water line, like right where it dropped. And they, of course, focus on, like, which is a big thing for them, which you can change change the world, really shape it the way that you want to. And they, t they uh, it was just single player, but they mentioned there's, you know, up to four player co-op. Yeah, and it's uh, got through the whole game. And it's guided by whoever the host uh, is. So it's not only a matter of it's fun to play together and beat up zombies. Maybe I'm getting, you know, materials and money and experience. Is there, like, to level a up my voting character. on choices like Old Republic or something? Or is it... They didn't... That's a very good question. Yeah, we didn't... They didn't get yeah. into that. I, I would imagine the host just gets to... Sure. Gets, gets to pick everything. Because um, that would be a little weird. Jones. You know, if you're coming into my world that I've already made these decisions prior and then now you're affecting stuff. Did you see any sweet loot? Uh, no, the one bit was the first guy he stealth killed when we had gotten into the base had his weapon just kind of propped up against the, the railing. So it was just that nice, like, oh, ah. yoink, thanks. Yeah. Especially after all the, 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 the crafting that I did in Dead Island and in Dying Light. It's just nice to be like, oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lightning rod, like, yeah, I'll use that. And the, uh, you were saying all the decapitations, were those just, those just, like, one-hit kills? Really weak Sometimes enemies? he got lucky, and then sometimes there was, like, because he had a, the, the weapon that you had was also electrified, so okay. he would, like, charge it and then Ooh. do, like, a special attack. Cool. Um, and then finally in the last bit of the cutscene, they do a little bit showing off the world, and then they have a shot where the guy who I would have trusted, I would have sided with him and questioned the guy that I thought was my friend, uh, you can see that, like, he, he was right, like, there is, there are people in your organization that are a little more militant than maybe you would like, and so it shows this, like, full-on assault on this base, and so you see, like, all of the, like, the police force, basically, all blue pads and blue armor just rush this building, and they have a cutscene where you see this guy, like, up in his tower just realizing, like, it's over. Like, I, I, I like, my whole settlement that I created, like, you can, you can see him, like, damn, like, I, yeah, Dude, like, it was that, it was that easy, I got taken out. Good lord. Dying Light 2 sounds high and stakes. as they, as the troops are running away, it pans down to the ground, and a zombie arm comes up, and then turns to the side, and three, like, bones, like, whack, come out of the side. <laughs> how, do you, how, do you, dun, dun, dun. how do you win in this game? Yeah. It seems like everything you do is just like consequence. It's a little, yeah, it's kind of the lesser of two evils, but um I don't like for me I think they do enough at kind of representing like what what your general attitude is. So like picking one NPC dying over another or, you know, picking like whether I want to just end the mission straight up right now or actually go into another one. When they talked about it last year, it seemed very clear of like you can be super author, you know, like like bring in the authority and like really lay down the law, which is great because it reduces crime and it makes some people feel more comfortable because you know there's more structure in this society. But like these guys can get a little out of hand sometimes, and it's you can't be there for every interaction. So there might be you know people who didn't do anything wrong getting mugged in the street by these cops who are just trying to be super pushy, or you can just let everything be crazy. But then resources might go you know yeah. go away quicker, and there's just no easy answer. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I'm like. I think I'm probably going to go the authority route sure. and just see how that plays out because even just aesthetically, it's like it could be a question of like, I like that blue armor. You know, like there's a lot of different qualities to, to, to pick. And it's fun when you go into your friend's worlds in co-op because you can be like, oh, let me jump into your world later and be like, whoa, like yeah. what is this building? Or like, yeah. oh, all the water went away here. Yeah, what that's happened? actually pretty cool. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, and I'd definitely would look forward animal to Crossing style. Again, Come yeah. Animal Crossing style. Come see my town. Right. <laughs> and again, <laughs> major depressing. Animal Crossing vibes in Dying Light 2 today. No question. Um, and again, like a lot of that is just, you know, PR talk is just sure, being yeah. like, these changes, you know, make a big yeah. deal. But the, 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 uh, the main thing that I noticed just from these decisions that you make, again, that thing with Frank, is that that, like, that paid off before the mission was over. You know, so there's just a lot yeah. of, a lot of like, go, 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 make this decision right now in, in, the, in the moment. Two uh, quick questions. One, was any of the platforming uh, like puzzle based? Did you, did you have to climb up 
anywhere and kind of like, oh, I, I'll jump there and then, oh, I'll climb here, uh, and stuff like that. One of my favorite things about it, uh, Breath of the Wild style, is uh, all of your uh, parkour is – not the, necessarily the parkour, but the climbing is all stamina-based. So Excellent. there was like yeah. there was one part yeah, where yeah. it like wasn't that tricky. It was just kind of yeah, just climbed up on this and then on this and this. But there were a bunch of zombies below him, and that meter was like, do it, do it in the last <laughs> jump. You're like, aha, and then finally yeah. made it. That's wow. why last year he went up that tower that you saw from the trailers last year, and like, ooh, that got you know chills. Like I'm I'm like I imagine this guy's gonna make it through it. He's probably yeah. done this 500 times, but just you see that bar get into the red, and it's like. Um, even if you feel somewhat comfortable, it adds that little uh, extra bit of tension. Uh, but again, there were some there... parts where I'm like, I don't know if I would have seen that opportunity. There was one bit where when he was running around the base when all the, the alarms went off and everyone was chasing him, he turned into a corner and saw like three people at the end of the hallway notice him. And he looked up and grappled, like Batman style, grappled the uh, event and pulled it off and then jumped up and climbed oh, out of the vent. Oh, nice. okay. And I was like, whoa, I didn't even, you know, maybe they... they in an early tutorial mission, they show that off. Like, keep an eye out for these things because yeah. they they help with stealth. Uh, but, was the uh, whole thing set during the day? Did we see any yes. night? And it was they they tricked you right at the beginning yeah. because like you're in this nightclub and it's really smoky and dark yeah. and she's you know, this lady singing on stage and everyone's drinking and it's like okay let's do this thing and you open yeah. up the door and like you know bright sunlight. Mm. Jones, it's so exciting because everything you just said was daytime versus humans. There's still an, an entirely another side of this game, like yeah. night ops oh, versus yeah. the zombies. Yeah. You know, so I imagine the next time we see this game, they'll probably focus on that part. Yeah. So. And while that moment where you fell through seemed kind of contrived because it was clearly like the direction they wanted to take the demo, mm -hmm. I just imagine if there's like traps like that, if there's oh, some yeah. platforms that you can't see, it's like a little weak, and you just think, you're on top of the world, and you're like, oh, what's that? Whoa! And, like, you yeah. just, they throw you into some crazy situation. Like, even if you know you got the skills, I got a ton of weapon on me, you know, I, I can generally evade. It's like, ah, it's just spooky when you're in darkness, you just got the flashlight, and, like, yeah. I can see right in front of me, but I have no idea really where to go or, like, how to get out of here. And even though it was, like, a choreographed E3 demo, they did a couple parts where I was like, this guy is screwed. Like, or I would, I would probably panic in this situation. Like, I don't know if I would be able to sneak out as... As expertly as that guy did, awesome. Um, right. You good? And, and he and he stumbled once, well, which wrapping I wrapping it up, which I love in a live demo. Like ten minutes over time on it, so it's uh, fine. He, uh, <laughs> he he stumbled once. There was one time he tried to do a cool thing, and the guy was like, "Oh, oh, oh!" But he got it. Okay. Oh, so I, I love seeing that in a demo where it's not not one hundred percent perfect. Seen. Nice. Um, we we good for for Wolfenstein next, or do we want to do Luigi next? Oh. So we have some question over here about uh, uh, how many more we're gonna try and cram in. Uh, since it's almost 11.30. One or two. Because there's you have three more in here, and I don't think you're getting through all three of them. Yeah, I, I think we might not make it to, to Monster Hunter. Uh, I know Ben's in here and would yeah, really like to do was. Monster Hunter, right, Ben? Yeah. Monster Hunter his, is his preferred one of them. Out of, out of so, think so, Luigi and Monster Hunter, then? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, then. So, Luigi's Mansion 3. Whoever played, so, uh, whoever yeah, played it. Uh, ben has played it. Damiani. I'll come in there in a second. Yeah, you were coming in. And I played it. I played it. Luigi. 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 Where did everybody go? What up, blood? Hello. This was charming as all hell. Mm hmm. How long is uh, the clip on here? The, the demo recording. 929, is that right? That's good. We can watch and talk along. Okay, nope. What? There's like some stuff here. 
stuff. We have living creatures on we have, the desk. Like, yeah, we have no uh, infestation problem. Hmm. Do we have something that lit that up? I can see there. Is it like hype spit? Is that what it is? I think that's yeah, what it is. It's like, I think we have hype spit on the table. <laughs> <laughs> hype spit on the table. A little bit of hype. We've got, we've got wipes. A little bit of hype We've got wipes spit. in there. Um. What? Oh, I mean, you, I was waiting because it sounded like you were about to say something. Yeah. Buck Bumble. <laughs> Buck Bumble is Buck not. Bumble. Took me a while to process. Of all like, the things that were about to come out, I was not expecting. Never would have Buck predicted Bumble Buck Bumble. Buck Bumble. <laughs> bomb to the bomb to the bomb to the base. Buck. All right. Buck yeah, bomb. let's start rolling the footage. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion Three. Um. Oh, it might be a little loud. I don't know if it's loud for chat. Should be muted, but if not, hit. Oh, the it's uh, muted for chat. Okay. I hope it is. Uh, but yeah, so this is a this is a tutorial here. Uh, so there's like a, a charge mechanic on the mm -hmm. flashlight. Yep. So you you hold the button, and then re and it, it releases the flash bulb, and then yeah, you can pull in with the Which, trigger uh, and push out with the other trigger. We will get to it, I'm sure, later on. But the charging it for the the boss, where you do need to have some timing and just yeah. like landing it at yeah. just the right moment, felt really good. Yeah, and it which, looked really unfortunately cool. we won't be able yeah. to show you the boss. The boss they would not let. Like <laughs> oh no, the boss yeah. is the best. Can we talk about the boss? We can totally talk I mean, about the, the boss. There's the arena right there. Yeah, it's the best part. Yeah. You, oh, so we actually do we get to see him? Oh yeah, we do get to see him Whoa. here in his intro. Yeah. But not the fight. <laughs> would you like this? Would you like to go the, the elevator, elevator button to go to the next floor? Actually, it looks like the first floor. So you need that to get back down. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. I guess that is correct. Also. I want to go to a hotel that has a castle in it. Right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one of the things uh, when we were talking about what we wanted to see out of Luigi's Mansion. Like, one of the things I said is, like, I hope we get back to the, these swords fighting ghosts. And I also, totally... Oh, yeah. Just, and you're doing it right here, but getting double ghosts yeah. feels so good. All the slams are so good. Yep. I will say that I was misunderstanding the controls here for a little bit. You can kind of see me fumble a bit because I, I now I don't know if this is a change or if I'm just misremembering what I did. I was trying to pull against the ghosts with mm -hmm. the right stick. Ah. Uh, and you're really pulling with the left. Yep. And the right stick is just adjusting, like, the height, the angle of the gotcha. shoulder gust. Um, but talking about the slam ability real quick, I think you can kind of get a sense just watching the footage, but actually feeling it. It is such a satisfying mechanic, yeah. and they do so much to make it satisfying. I mean, when, you, when you're when you whipping that ghost over your head and you're bonking on the ground repeatedly, just the, like, elasticity that the ghost has, like, it really stretches it out, and then... The fact that you just are mashing that A button, just slamming him over and over and over yeah. again. It, it feels good it's every good single weight. time. Yeah. Oh, here um, it comes. And then you saw there, there's like these rope levers, basically. Yeah, like blood's prediction, pretty much, about <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it came true. And then there's Gooigi, Gooigi. so you just right, right click. I, I love that summoning Gooigi, like, sends you unconscious. Yeah. That you're just it's like, like you're passed out. It's like you're transferring your consciousness. Right. It's like uh, this is what it's the Wind Waker when Link does his, uh, uh, forget the song, to possess other things. Yeah. He's kind of like in that same trance state. That's kind of cool. Like this that. is transforming. This is what <laughs> yes, it led to. Ben. Yes, this is transforming. I just... Uh, and again, like one of the great things about Luigi's Mansion is just being able to uh, influence like things in the background like that. So it's fun to just bump into things and, and you get, things and you get rewarded for being yeah. playful like that yeah. or they'll give you extra cash or maybe a little bit of health or something as well uh which is yeah really and there cool. i had to get a little bit closer i forget when it happens but the way luigi reacts when you do something right at, at points there's i think we got one on shot where he like does like the was a peace or thumbs up sign when he found a secret was when he was in the trance state was yeah. so cool ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. this oh, is okay. a good and room and this is where yeah, they introduced the room. uh the suction cup shot I love this. Oh, there was the, it targeted the barrels in the back. Yeah, that, so, that was the hand I needed. I, I did this with the, the suction shot as well, but I wonder if you can just get behind him and just use flashlight, or if he like pivots around and me. Yeah, I think he does pivot. Okay. I, I think that it's very much, at least for the demo, it's meant to be a tutorial thing. Yeah. 
Oh, oh and yeah. Then I, and then blood I, did... I clicked the right stick by accident. We thought Blood was being pro, was gonna like double up and like <laughs> Ghostbusters it, like tag team. I was like, whoa, Bloodworth pro strats already? But that's what, yeah, that's because I still had the controls mixed up. It's like, oh, it's the other stick. That's what I should be doing. You should have rolled with it, Blood. You should have been like, that was absolutely what was going on. <laughs> Intentional. Um, Blood, you, you mentioned like the personality of the ghosts. Uh, and there are so many small things that you could mention, but I just love the squish Guiji makes with every single step. Yeah, and, and then so here you can hit one ghost to the other. and that's I don't know if we can back up. We don't have to. But did you see when those three ghosts actually first appeared? They ignored you and went to Guiji. Mm. Oh, looked, like I don't, sure. know, I don't know if it was right or whatever, but they essentially looked were coming up to Guiji and looked curious. Yeah, they were like, huh, like they. Well, I thought one of them tilted their head, like, "What's this?" You can use that as a decoy thing. Yeah, so I, them I, out I, and yeah, then yeah. I wonder if that's flashing. a mechanic. Ian, Ian's jumping around to find. It's all right. Spot. Yeah, yeah. If, yeah, it's fine. And, uh, uh, let's move on. A little bit of a puzzle. Yeah, so here the uh, the rep was was guiding me a little bit because I wasn't quite getting what they wanted me to do. <laughs> yeah. But you can look through this this peephole. Oh, nice! I didn't look through the peephole. First person looks good. I always love uh, when they do something like this, and you have to wait a really long time, but then like something eventually drops down. Right. I love surprises like that. Um. Curious question I want to throw to you guys because yeah. obviously slam you get a lot of use out of um, the suction shot you get a lot of use out of but you could also do the like air jet and I didn't really oh I didn't really use it that much either yeah, yeah. I didn't really you, you find an obvious use for I it. I see yeah you anyone do, you seeing use, it I didn't yeah. see people using it very much yeah I, I blood use it very I messed around with it a little bit but uh. I didn't get anything out of it and I just don't know if in this area there wasn't opportunities or I just wasn't using it right I'm not sure you actually killed things. Unless there were zombie rats. I think there goes rats. Uh, it was interesting when you come up here, when you finally... Oh, I forgot about that already. When you try and climb up, and you couldn't do it well, as Well, you see that? Thing. He just put the key inside the goo. Yeah. You didn't notice I that? didn't notice oh, that before. Oh, because, yeah, because when Luigi gets it later, I was like, are you reaching inside Gooigi <laughs> to pull out the key? <laughs> yeah, or is he like we end up out? not seeing it. And again, here, this is the the rep is just guiding me a little bit. Like, oh, there's a yeah. hole in the. Yeah, the where's the light nice. source coming from? But you couldn't climb up as Guiji. Guiji can't do. Yeah, Guiji can't climb. I wonder if it's because the weight would just make the goo. Yeah, I'd rip off his arms trying so, to like, pull up. I didn't go into this area. What does the sword get you? Uh, uh, we don't know. You'll see in a second mm. what happens. Uh, it's probably a. It's uh, a collectible of some kind. Yeah, it's. You need multiple. It's like of a them. regional collectible. Cool. Yeah. I don't know if you've explored up there anymore. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else you can get to. It's just that. Oh, 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 oh. oh I took the key from you, Guiji. <laughs> it was behind closed doors. Huh? It's a key. <laughs> I love Luigi's little reactions. I oh, yes. kind of miss from the original Luigi's Mansion. This just is the cool, close this shot of like, like the hand vertical. going up to the doorknob and turning it. Maybe that'll be back in Verticality. some capacity. I was, I was dis a little disappointed, Blood. You gave up on trying to pull like the tapestry thing. Oh, uh, like, sure. I, was I, like, bet I bet there's something there. Yeah. I just knocked those candles off, too. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I, uh, when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's cool. There's a lot of things you can interact in. Do you think there's any chance, because here you have to use Guiji and Luigi simultaneously yeah. to get through an obstacle. Do you think there's any chance that later on you'll be able to summon multiple Guigis and they'll all have to be in different spots and you'll just Ooh. switch between them? Maybe. I wonder if you can make up maybe two of them. I don't foresee. Now this is interesting them being here. So. Oh, can you watch when we pull this out? That water. That water would have just disintegrated Guigi. Mm. It's, it's like a troll. wreck right there. I don't, I don't think yeah, you I was interact. Curious there. about that. No. I also don't know if you could have gone through that left door. Yeah. Because she kind of guided me to the other thing. Yeah, you gotta, when they say go this way, you always go the other way. It's like that that's, that's the game explain content right there. Right. Yep. When they tell you to go a different way. I always start a 2D platform by going Oh, yeah, left. this is cool. Yeah, um, so you shine the dark light, and it and it yep. brings these little specter things out, yeah, which like, then opens the door, and they said you can't capture so that's it. 
There was a sword in that middle um, thing at the end. <laughs> there's so much yeah. to talk about yeah, with the so, boss. Yeah, the there's boss is different great. Mechanics. Okay, so the yeah. boss, is, that's Maybe the there's guy. there's treehouse footage of it. The guy you yeah. saw at the beginning, the king or prince or knight or whatever he is. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but the they basically get on a horse. Uh, and they're in armor. And they, yeah, and they're on armor, and the horse is in armor. And uh, they start uh, circling laps, like a kind of like a jousting match. Yes. Yeah. And uh, basically, what you have to kind of figure out is, uh, and I think, yeah, both phases of the fight, you really can't do anything. Uh, I was surprised at that. Until there's an opening. I yeah. thought to one of two things. I thought maybe originally you could suck up the arrows being shot at you mm. to mm. fire back. Yeah, because there's a, there's a bullseye. Yeah. Painted right on uh, the chest, and then when it lifts up, it's uh, the actual joust part. I was like, it glows for a second. I was like, mm. can you maybe shoot that or target that? The like, he's off, like pull him off balance or something like that. And yeah, it, it's the one way they basically alluded to what you have to, and you talked about basically stand your ground. Yep, flash. Yeah. And well, then you go to ten. He he's like uh, he's he's jousting at you, and yeah. you have to wait until he like pops his head up and when you see that animation that's yeah. what you're opening but yeah flash. basically what he does is he'll kind of go to a corner and so instead of just running around in circles he'll, he'll be gearing up to charge you directly like straight yep. in your face and when he does that charge that's when he flash the light and then uh you shoot the suction cup onto the bullseye mm -hmm. and then you can use that to slam, do that slam mechanic mm -hmm. to yeah. the whole horse. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> looked insane. And and, and uh, knock off some some parts for the horse. And I think you do that about three times. Yep, it is. It's three times. Um, and then you and then he's like a sword fighter, and he's coming at you. And he well, does... you slam off his armor, and now he has health like other ghosts have because he doesn't have that before in the armor and riding on the horse. Yeah, and so uh, but he does this like kind of Zelda spin, mm -hmm. yeah. and you basically have to avoid getting hit and if you avoid getting hit then he'll get dizzy and then that's when you can counterattack until you totally wear him down and eventually take him out and get the elevator button back yeah and i think it's after you slam him one time uh when he's on the horse then he starts doing the arrows mm -hmm. and then once as the fight progresses, he just summons more of those. Yeah. And so there, there are there are holes on the side of the arena, and those just keep opening up as the fight progresses until it gets to the maximum amount. Um, but the arena is also cool because when you get hit by an attack, <laughs> the entire cr crowd erupts in kind of a, a, a yeah. roar of approval, which is very cool. Mario right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool. I mean, as you saw, like that was the entirety of what we got to play. So. There is uh, a lot more to see, but again, that's really what I was looking forward to. It's something that feels very unique. We're, we're probably, you know, going to see a lot of different things like that, and so I'm, I, I want to really dig into it more. Yeah, it was a very short demo, but I just loved in in kind of that classic Nintendo style where. Every room you were going into, it felt like there was a brand new mechanic to take into account. And so it just made every room like kind of exciting to figure out what was going on and, and you know, how, how you're going to have to use something else uh, in order to progress. And then the boss fight was definitely the best part for me. So, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so next up, uh, we're going to do Monster Hunter World Iceborne. There's about 18 minutes left, so I think this will probably take us to the end. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Huber was with you. Yes, Huber's with me, and it's very important that he is. Yeah, Huber definitely needs to be in here. I want to know if Brad or Ian would also like to join. Yeah, they both Because I, I think that there's Ian some coming. Monster Hunter players in there. And Ian I'll get off coming. this desk. Because I don't, I don't have anything to contribute. Brad and I were just talking about our dream for a hard R rating Hux in episode 9. I don't know what to say Admiral to that. Admiral Hux? Yes. Well, blood's leaving. Hard R Hux. Hard Time R. Time to get nuts. Hux. Brad said he wants Hux to right, slap Brad, an Brad, officer. Brad. Bye. Oh, bye, Brad. Later, Brad. Bye, chat. Oh, I'm, I'm off guard. Awesome. Bye, chat. <laughs> there he is.
Bradley Ellis. What's going on? Um, so I was I was really ecstatic to play uh, Monster Hunter World Iceborne at the event. Um, when Brad and I were just kind of walking around both the West and South Halls, we were walking by the Capcom booth, and I was like, wait, I don't want to see this before I played it. And so I like purposefully didn't Media look. Media blackout. Um, and the fact that I got to do it uh, cooperative, cooperatively with Huber, and we were both on the same team, kind of experiencing things for the first time uh, together was really, really cool. And um, yeah, there is a lot to say. Uh, Huber, feel free to jump in at any time, and sure. even if you have any questions. Um, but I guess how I want to open this up is the new area that you're in, uh, which is going to be the when you fully unlock every single part of it, it is going to be the biggest area in Monster Hunter World, and that is the Horfrost region, and it looks really, really good. Um, and it looks part of the reason why it's so cool is there's just a ton of variety. Um, kind of when you get out of the camp kind of at the southern tip of the Horfrost region, you kind of step out, and it's like a nice wooded area and you can just see small monsters kind of milling about um and then you go and it's like a cliff side but the the cliff is all like crystalline ice and it just looks really beautiful it looks like something out of a fantasy movie um and then you go and you have underground caves as well and so there's just a lot to see i wish we were very focused on the hunt itself, but I wish I could have just done like an expedition and gone and saw where like all the resources were. Um, there's hot springs as well, which is cool. And that actually has a practical application. So if for some reason you don't have a hot drink with you and you can't fend off the cold that way, mm. um, you can go to the hot springs and, and warm yourself up so you're not taking that stamina hit. Ben, I, was, I have not played in so long yeah. and I was so laser focused to not let you down you did not. that I was just trying... <laughs> To focus on the hunt and focus on the mechanics. So, mm. like, I can't even tell you a thing about the map. Because mm. the only thing I was paying attention to was, like, my inventory, my weapon, and the monster in front of me. Like, yeah. everything else was just a blur. Um, something that isn't new in Iceborne, but I think is really cool, is items that, that maybe didn't have a lot of utility in the main game of Monster Hunter World will have a lot more utility in Iceborne, which I think is just really cool and worth mentioning. So, like, you can get the Iceproof Mantle in Vanilla Monster Hunter World, but it's like, well, that's only really good against Legiana. And yeah. But here, because you're going to be dealing a lot more with ice creatures, I just love that some of that stuff that you've already locked may get a bigger chance to shine. The Ice Mantle won't. Uh, it doesn't protect you against the cold just of the island, right? No, I don't I don't believe so. I think it's just ice based attacks, so uh. it's specifically tuned to that. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a lot to say. I want to get into the the mechanics and the monsters them, themselves, but I kinda wanna build up to that. Mm -hmm. Um I wanna talk about the gear. What was really cool in this demo that they had uh in the Capcom booth is uh you could Pick any of the weapons. They were all brand new weapons. Rarity 9, which was cool to see. Got oh. all that white sharpness, yeah. which was hot. Um, and then they had... <laughs> it was. Uh, or cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, they had a bunch of different uh, Master Egg armor. And you could mix and match how you wanted to get the skills that you wanted, which actually ended up being really useful. Uh, we got... Uh, I, I equipped Wide Range, which I think ended up helping us during the yes. T-Drex fight. Oh my gosh. Uh, but the new Master Egg gear just looks... So cool. Um, you <laughs> so the Bonboro gear, yep. you just look like a Viking. Straight and up. I, there was a, I was like just looking at all the skills and equipping different pieces. And I it was during the second hunt, it was before Tigrex. I looked over at Hubert, Huber's screen, he's just like, Look at this. <laughs> I was already like ready to go. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fashion Cube, souls. Yeah. Fully ready. Cute they up. had it all unlocked, is what you're saying? <laughs> that you could choose from any of the armor sets? I, I mean, it's, it wasn't every armor set available, sure, but they had but a, a variety of Master Ranks. I think there were like four cool. or five they had. Yeah, cool. well, I think it was actually more than that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, but something that like stood out to me, so Anjanath, the new uh, Anjanath Master Rank gear, you have this awesome, like, I was playing a female character, and you had this awesome like headdress that had like feathers coming out the back. Which I really, really liked. Oh, that's cool. And the Palico gear was also really cool. Um, the one that particularly stood out to me is you just basically make him look like a snowboarder. <laughs> uh, which is really cool. Um, and Ian. Hey. You already saw this in the story trailer, but actually getting to see a practical application for it. 
uh, was really cool. So you have this new thing called Raider Ride. And what you can do... Tell me more. Yeah. Um, the representative, and maybe he was incorrect, but the representative told me that there are two different creatures that you can ride with Raider Ride. Um, there's this skunk-like creature whose name starts with W that I can't remember, and I believe Jagras are the two that you can ride. But basically, once you get out of camp... Um, you can call these creatures, and if you have the monster pinned on your map, it'll just go directly to the monster. And if it doesn't, it will try to uh, find tracks. And what's great about using the Raider Ride to get around or to chase after the monster is you can do whatever you want, not every, whatever you want, but a lot of preparation work while you're taking the ride. So if you need to sharpen your weapon, um, or you can also, like, if you happen to pass over tracks, you can just grab the tracks on the ride. Wait, so what is it? So it's like it's, it's like a taxi service, but oh. your taxi is these creatures that you're riding around. Oh, these small okay, creatures. okay, yeah. So it's you're riding a jaguar, and it's just taking you there. Yes, That's, cruise okay. control. But okay, okay. that actually had a beyond just the usefulness and being able to prepare for the hunt. The other benefit that it had is because this was a demo, we only had 20 Ooh. minutes for each hunt. So during Bumbero, that wasn't that big of a deal because the monster wasn't that hard. But during Tigresx, we finished with less than two minutes left. Uh, I'm and at I think 40. It, right. And I think a big reason why we were able to get it done is because he was like, hey, use the Raider ride and it'll just save you so much time. You don't have to go looking for the monster, gathering tracks, all that stuff. It, it, your, your dude will just take you there. Oh, um, cool. And so uh, it, it, just, it just saved us time. Ben, how many people... At E3, at the time you played the demo, had beaten said monster. Yeah, so this this was pretty hype, and I don't know. It's probably going to come across the wrong way, but at when we were doing the demo, uh, so we did Bombero, and then we did Tigrex, and the representative beforehand was like, good luck, like, only two groups have been able to beat Tigrex, and we were the third group. hey -o. And what was cool is... Apparently, we were the only group of all journalists to do it at that point in time, because uh, apparently the other groups had like Capcom representatives playing as well. So that ah. that felt the really we good. people we were with were like pretty good too. Felt like they were really good. Yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah. which outlet? Do you know which outlet? I don't know. We couldn't we couldn't see them. Oh. Yeah. And so like, <laughs> I'd Have be you trying to, to no. I definitely tried to send some stuff their ways, like, hey, guys, use barrel bombs. Yeah. Uh, or, like, hey, use use your shock trap that you have because uh, you had a set loadout of items. But you weren't on voice chat. No, we weren't on voice chat. There were, they, had, like, had headphones plugged in, but they wouldn't let us use them. Yeah, it was which weird. Which was really weird. Um, I don't know what was going on with that. But, yeah, I, I want to talk about Bombero because he's brand new, but the T-Grex fight was just such a story. So sick. Because... Um, where you first encounter Tigrex in the Horfrost region is he's in this cave. And it's such a perfect space for Tigrex because he it, he's just, he just never stops jumping around. Yeah. Like, <laughs> un unless he, when he gets exhausted, he does slow down a little bit and give you a greater opening for attack. But you're in this small space and he's basically just nonstop jumping on top of you. And so it really took a pretty sufficient coordinated effort for us to use our paralysis knives, to use our shock traps, to use everything that we had to create opportunities to pin him down, mounting him. Um, and all that stuff, but was so he's he's in this very tiny space and just zipping all around yeah. and Relentless the, the ground of this cave has cracks in it and steam is shooting up from the cracks and so if you accidentally run into The steam you get shot up <laughs> and it interrupts you <laughs> and so I'm like try to pay attention and avoid all of this this jumping around that he's doing um, and then I multiple times I would accidentally run into the steam and it would get interrupted and that it was just it was a cool Environmental hazard that I had to pay attention to but then Can I you, thought about it. Yeah, I was gonna I was on. and I, I after the demo I was like I wonder if I had the glider mantle if I could actually turn that into an opportunity That's and if what I, had I was that gonna equip. say could you mount using right. the steam right? Um, definitely when I didn't have the glider mantle equipped it seemed like I just you Get shot up in such a way where you can't take advantage of it, but maybe mm. you can. Because um, the glider mantle does that in the other, with the wind by Ligiana. Yeah, um, but it was it was just um, 
kind of a cool series of emotions and Huber you can jump in on this as well where like the reps were like oh man it's really hard not that many people have done it and so I yeah. think there was some intimidation going into it because like player two went down like pretty early yeah very quickly and then went down again and then I went down and I was like oh my god are we gonna do this and we're running out of time right and then like I think you cut the tail off yeah mm. And then that was like a that was, bit, that was momentum. Yes. Like we felt the momentum. We're like, all right, we got its tail. It's weakened. And then it like staggered away and like went to its hideout. And then like just going for broke, you kept like, I didn't have a chance to use them until the very, very end. But the whole time you were like, all right, use your traps, use your bombs, use your bombs. So like we yeah. didn't have an opportunity. The very end, I'm like lagging because I'm like trying to like heal and everything. I like run in and I just like, Frantically start throwing bombs down, just <laughs> yeah. like barrel bomb, barrel bomb, barrel bomb, barrel bomb. Just everyone's wailing away. Uh, awesome. Yeah, it was Very it was cool. it was great because the the guy went down early, and in the cave it was really intense because you didn't have that much room to move around. Yeah. Um, but Ooh. then he went outside, and there's this this cliffside, and we got the tail off, and that just always feels good. Um, What's the opposite of mental damage? Like physical damage? Well, I mean, like <laughs> mental, mental, mental encouragement. momentum. Like, yeah, 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 mental yeah, yeah, momentum. Yeah, yeah. We a felt boost. mentally gotta, fortified. Yeah, yeah, yeah fortified. Yeah, you yeah. got a boost. Um, but <laughs> uh, I was saving it until this moment. We also had another, and it was pretty quickly after we kind of emerged from this cave and we're chasing after the Tigrex. Is we were on this cliffside, and he again just constantly jumping around. He actually slid off the cliff. Yeah. And and was like, oh no, and it was trying to scramble up. Oh my and God. that was an opportunity yeah. to get in major damage. And so I just I love that. That's something I like obviously in vanilla world uh, as well, but it was cool to see new opportunities in Iceborne that were particular to this environment yeah. uh, where you could really use them. It's incredibly satisfying. This yes. monster like trying to climb up and you just go up and you're just wailing away at it, trying to knock it off. Yeah. And it's just, like, getting more angry and climbing up. It was, it was awesome. But Man. after being mentally fortified, um, because <laughs> it was in this cliffside area that we staggered the T-Grex. And that, that took some time, but we did do it. And he was limping back off to kind of his, his lair. And uh, I, it, this is when it took another turn yeah. toward panic. Yeah. Oh. Because... I think this helped, though, in the end. Yeah, I, th <laughs> I think it promoted kind of a... a Balls out aggression that yeah. we really needed. Yeah. But he goes back into his lair, another tiny space, a tiny enclosed space, and Bombaro was there. Uh, and <laughs> in, in Monster Hunter, when two monsters face off, it's like they, they go into a turf war and you get a notification. It's like, okay, they're fighting and you're seeing the damage that's being done. That didn't happen here. And so we, we just kind of had two obstacles. Yeah. Like the Bombaro just stayed there and was just thrashing about while the T-Grex was thrashing him out and... And they weren't it, engaged on each other. They... They were kind of like haphazardly hitting each other and us simultaneously is yeah. what was happening. <laughs> yeah. And so that's extremely stressful. And it's popping because we only had 20 minutes for this hunt. And it's popping up, you've got five minutes right. left. And so it's just like, all right, throw everything at him. Like we, Because for the demo, you actually had nine feints instead of three. And oh, we only wow. used three of the feints at that point. So it was oh, like, okay. just go crazy, get this thing done. Um, and yeah, it was just a really emotional and the, the feel-good moment when you finally do get it done. And you just have that, that rush of that hell yeah. Not keeping those materials, but we carved it. We did, yeah, we did cover it. We also covered the tail. We also covered the tail. <laughs> did you did you eat a meal before heading out? No, they, it wasn't an option. Oh, yeah, it was okay. not an option. So the the way the demo started is, um, I guess at camp, we could have done it, but we were like too busy trying to get like the. Um, I just ate like the the raider. Right, we could have eaten at camp, but we we didn't get to see the hub, and so we didn't Ooh, eat yeah, the hub. The yawns. Yeah. Um, the last thing that I want to talk about is the fight that we actually did before Tigrex was uh, Bonbara, which is the the reindeer giant looking creature. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Um, and like way easier than yeah. Tigrex. I mm -hmm. believe this is going to be the first uh, monster that you fight in the Horfrost region. Yeah. But they did a great job, I think, of giving it personality. Yeah. It, it like I I'm no monster hunter expert, but it did feel like. It felt like a pretty basic fight, mm -hmm. but 
with personality, like you mm. just said. Like, it's a basic fight, basic mechanics. You know, you just go up, wail on this thing, but... And it, it kind of has basic movements, but it... Th thrashing, like, the, the giant snowball in yeah. the tree, like, it does cool things, but we didn't really have to, like, change our tactics or anything, or... Yeah, and... Wasn't too much strategy. And Monster Hunter has had creatures that attack in a similar way to mm -hmm. the way Bambaro attacks before, where it's a lot of, like... I am going to charge forward in a straight line, mm -hmm. um, and that's that's going to be kind of my big major attack. But what makes Bombaro cool is when he's charging forward in a straight line, he's carrying a giant boulder with him. He's carrying a tree <laughs> with him, and a lot of people have already seen that in the trailer. Um, but beyond that, there's just this restlessness to him that I really like. It's not like he charges and then is stationary, and it's like, okay, come wail at me. Yeah. Like, he's just this really frantic creature where he'll charge and then he'll just start thrashing about and it's great that you're in a snowy area because you'll see the snow fly all over the place and like me i'm trying to get the tail and so he's he's thrashing all about and like the tail is like weaving above you and around you um and he just has this kind of larger than life presence that i really like felt bad bringing him down did you t-grex was like dude Take this thing. Yeah, out. this thing yeah, needs to be put down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are definitely a few though. monsters in Monster Hunter World yeah. where you're like, "Why are we killing this yeah. thing?" Yeah. But uh, th this impression would not be complete if we didn't talk about the Clutch Claw. Yeah, and I really want to get Ian's take on this because to me, it devalues Ian's favorite weapon, the Insect Glaive. Yeah, because the I totally disagree with that. The greatest okay. weapon of all time. Because because uh, just from from weekly hunts, mm -hmm. you know. Ian was was the mount master, mount yeah, mounting it I would up. Try. Yeah, with the but insect glaive. This is now... like a full mount. Yeah, but still, but it, like, it makes it so much easier for like everyone to get in on the mounting. Well, yeah. What is it? First of all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. So to explain yeah. the clutch claw, um, this is something that everybody, every weapon type can do. Um, however, it will depending on the type of weapon that you have, it will have different effects. Mm. Um, and basically what it is, is it's, 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 it's essentially this grappling hook. Um, Those are very in right now. You, using it, basically <laughs> using your slinger. And what you can do is, so you know when you use the slinger in Monster Hunter World, it's this circle? Mm. Well, now that circle in surrounding it are these arrows. And when those glow orange, that means that you're in range to do a clutch claw attack. And you'll do it, and you will go and you'll mount the monster... Um, and you can do different things depending on the state of the monster. So you can knock it in a direction, which would be really good if you set a trap and you want it to go a certain way. Um, or you can just do damage. And that is something that you can repeatedly take advantage of. But if you use the Clutch Claw and you do an attack, depending on the type of weapon that you have, you'll get something different. Um, so some weapons, that'll drop special slinger ammo that you can then oh. uh, use. And now you can also use the slinger uh, when your weapon is unsheathed. Oh. Um, so not just sword and shield can do that anymore, wow. which is really cool. Um, but for me, for other weapons, for me, like the greatsword, uh, when you do a clutch claw attack and I, I, I hit him, I tenderize that spot. So what that means is if follow-up attacks uh, will do a greater amount of damage to the monster. Uh, which is really, really cool. And um, this is something that I think there were a lot of question of, questions on before people got their hands on it. Like, how OP is it going to be? How, right. Not OP. How strong is it going to be? It's um, a game changer, it seems like, for sure. It's definitely very, very useful. Short range. Yes. So that oh, very is... Very short. That is the thing that really, um, I think, keeps the clutch call in check is it's like much shorter range than you are expecting. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, not only do you have to be very close to the monster in order to get it off, but you also still have to aim and target. And while so, it's charging. Right, right. right. While, it's, yeah. while it's doing all of this stuff. And so it's not like, I mean, obviously with practice, you do get better at it. I'm sure it will be even more useful. But it's not something that I think you can do repeatedly. And depending on the type of weapon that you're going for, you may be better off using that opening that you would do for a clutch call attack. Like, yeah, that'll be some damage, but you're going to get way more damage out of your best attacks. Sure. Um, so it was definitely something where when I did accomplish it, I was glad that it happened, but it wasn't like, okay, well, this this is the only thing I need to get through the fight. Mm -hmm. um, and so it seemed 
uh, pretty smartly balanced to me. That's Obviously, good. we'll have to to wait until the full game is out. But yeah, it the short distance, the short range of it makes me feel like it doesn't devalue the insect glaive. Cool. And because oh insect glaive, yeah. you can come at it from pretty far away and awesome. get a mount. And I wonder if there's more, like more of a buff with it too. Like what is what are the benefits of using the clutch claw? Clutch claw if you're using the glaive. Yeah, well, yeah, I was gonna say maybe it helps you launch up or like, even more. Well, like, yeah. Maybe it gives you that like full body attack or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, something like Tigrex, right? Where it's like, okay, we, we gotta immobilize this oh, thing. Oh yeah. Um, the clutch claw wasn't immobilizing it on its own. Like it was, it it would. Uh, do damage it and it would knock it back, it would stagger it, but it wasn't completely toppling it over the sure. way that a mount would. And so, in that instance, like, I would still want you using the insect glaive, getting on top of it, pinning it down. Yeah. So everybody can come in um, and do a ton of damage. September... When's this thing coming out? Uh, September 26, I want to say, if I'm remembering correctly. Yeah. Weekly hunts. Get Weekly it. hunts. Daily, daily hunts. Hourly hunts. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I guess... Capcom. To wrap this up, Huber, and um, I don't know if you agree with this, but just there felt like so much going on in every angle, like mm -hmm. the new monsters, the areas, the new tools that you have available to you. It just feels like so much. It Like we were joking around like it's Monster Hunter World. 1.5 yeah and it really does feel like that mm -hmm. it really really does just visually the all the changes they made are like performance i i haven't played in so long but i'm like did did monster Hunter world always look and, and feel this good like yeah 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 but like this good mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels like even more of a step up oh man so, I, I just want to go play it right now yeah the the last <laughs> thing that i want to say is um you know, we're doing a lot of E3 appointments, and I'm enjoying so much of what I'm seeing. Um, but it, there's this, uh, obviously, this this sort of universal temperament where, like, you'll go and you'll be like, oh, hey, let's check out your game. And then you play the game, and you're like, oh, that was really cool. Thank you for showing it to me. But being there <laughs> with other people yeah. fighting this T-Grex and, like, seeing the emotions of the, like, oh, my God, that happened. or yeah. And then just collectively... That but the bellowing like yeah when we took it down <laughs> it was just this rush of emotion and, and cooperation where it's just like man fundamentally Monster Hunter is so much fun mm -hmm. um, and it was a blast doing it with you here oh, it was awesome no doubt. so yeah I guess that is going to oh there he is the man is still right on time Hi. that does I feel it. like we're getting the book of blood here wraps it up day two blood's yeah. gonna go into uh... F1 impressions. No, F1's tomorrow morning, actually. No, blood, no. <laughs> Get the spray bottle. No, um, this thing updated? Yeah, this is updated. So I just want to give people an idea of things that we have already seen, yet have not talked about. <laughs> and blood just got a 20% battery warning as yeah, well. Yeah, 20% battery. Um, well, I, I've charged this thing multiple times already today. <laughs> Uh, Ian's, uh, you've seen Stronghold Warlords. Yeah, baby! Which, uh, just to let the audience know, like, Ian was so excited to talk about, just, like, dropping details to me. And I believe it was the one appointment I requested directly to Bloodworth. Yeah, Earth. like, but I think before I even had it. Before E3, they inkling. did a, they did a video that they were like, we're gonna be at E3, and I, I immediately emailed yeah. Bloodworth, and I was, or slacked yeah. him. So I, 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 I tracked, that. no, actually, no, I didn't track him down, it was like, and then they they messaged I think they, you. They yeah they messaged me like right after you messaged me. Yeah, it was like a it was day weird. or so yeah. later. I was like, there it is. It's yeah. crazy that you got him to do that now that he's the president of Nintendo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't think he'd have the time. I saw a couple other smaller games, uh, Roki and Eldest Souls. I saw those. Yeah. Yep. Um, control. Remember. I'll talk about my impressions. Yeah, your control, control impressions. Tomorrow. Uh, Damiani, I think, saw, uh, No Straight Roads, uh, today. Um, and then, uh, I've seen Chris Tales. Uh, you and Damiani played some Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. Uh, you played Psychonauts 2. And that's so worth talking about. Or played about. or saw? Saw, saw, saw. Okay. It was a, it, they demoed it, but it yeah. was hands off. Uh, I played 12 Minutes. Uh, oh, cool. oh, a group of I'm us so played. So jealous. How was it? Quick it's, tease. Look, Quick it's, tease. It's a cool game. How okay. long did you play it for? Uh, Please say 11.59. <laughs> I want to say 15 to 20. Something like that. 
damn it, Blood Change Blood. that title. <laughs> Change that title. Well, the thing is, it's one of those things where it's like... Blood with no time! Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're running through these. You're asking me questions. We're just trolling, troll questions. All right, we're testing uh, your resolve. Ultimate Alliance 3, destroy all humans Brad talked, or not, Brandon, Brandon. talked about. Uh, Too but many bees. I, I went to a thing as well. Uh, Moons of Madness, Conan Chop Chop, yeah. Trying 4, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contracts, Gunvolt Chronicles, Luminous Avenger, Pacer, <laughs> Phoenix Point, Battletoads, Biomutant, Crash Team Racing, Lego Star Wars, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, and the other ones you're gonna see tomorrow, so. Dragon Ball Project Z, Desperados 3, Darksiders Genesis. How have we not talk about <laughs> Who got Dragon to Ball play Z Dragon Kakarot? Ball? Yeah, yeah what the Bandai hell? Uh, through the darkest of times, uh, I got to play from week. THQ Nordic. Dude. Uh, also stuff really we gotta talk about. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanna play. Who I mean, was I, that? Yeah, I didn't, even, I didn't even touch on stuff that we're seeing tomorrow. That's just stuff that we've already yeah, seen. that's what we've already <laughs> seen. But uh, basically, uh, we're gonna be coming in in shifts because some of us are still gonna be on the floor. Uh, but a uh, few people are gonna come in uh, and start at 6.30. Uh, Ian and Damiani and Brad uh, will get through some things. I think Ben won't be too far behind them. And then uh, the rest of us will get here and try to get through as much as we can, uh, s starting at 8.30ish. I mean, we'll probably just jump in naturally, like, whenever we get here. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go to 11 or 12 tomorrow, and then Friday, uh, whatever's left, we'll throw in there along with whoever special guests come. So Kind of funny. Yeah. Special secret guests. <laughs> Guess I don't even know about because I don't know if they've said yes to Damiani yeah. or not. So. It keeps shifting, some of them. Yeah, it's going to be cool. Yeah. Anyone else want to add anything to wrap up the night? Do we have, oh, we, we have a sweetest moment for this day of E3 from Sweet Justice. Thank you, Man. Sweet Justice, for these sweetest moments. These are individual, right? Uh, Collective. See, Stronghold we Warlords was cool. Are. Control is so good. Control is so good. Ian, what do you think about the ray tracing? The ray tracing! It was good! You could push O and turn the ray tracing on and off! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> to see toggle. the difference! I was toggling it toggle like a mad ray man. trace! Uh... Yeah, control is really good. The shooting is actually good. I was surprised. Nice. Aha! Uh -huh. I might- even though we haven't talked about it yet, I might- I might go with Chris Tales. And, uh, and as your as your sweetest moment? Yeah. Brought to you by Sweet Justice? Yeah. Audio design firm? Uh, well, it, it is not just because of the game itself, which the game is great, but the, uh, the CEO of the company in Colombia, uh, like, he, like, grabbed me before I even got to, like, check in. Humble brain. And just started uh, talking about, like, how <laughs> long they've been a fan of, uh, of us at Game Trailers, and, um, and, and, and one of the crazy things is he didn't find out about, uh, Easy Allies until like a year ago, so he had like that nice. gap of he didn't know that we had come back. So what you're saying is we need PR. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sure, but Spread I mean, the word. Yeah, so it's it's pretty cool. Um, and then all of this is uh. Thanks well, wait, to, which yeah. one was our? Oh, do never we, mind. Do we need, uh, you're confusing me. I thought I'm we were confused. Doing Huber said it I had to be the, uh, the group decision, but none of us played the same blasted games. That's what I thought we do. Not for the daily impressions. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is what we did for the press conferences, but we Got didn't. It. We weren't all together. Got that's it. the thing. So I would say them beating. Unless there's some moment tonight. T Grex. Mm -hmm. It was pretty sweet. That's the sweetest moment. Them, yeah. Their victory. If nobody else did it. Yeah. Well, their victory. To be fair, two other groups did it. Oh, okay. But we were the first. But the first all journalist crew all journalist. to beat it. <laughs> all, all all pleb group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you to Sweet Justice. Patreon.com slash Easy Allies. Yeah, we're completely supported by you people, uh, which is yes. pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, we've, we've been actually running into a lot of patrons throughout the show, uh, both people who are attending the show for the first time, people who are media. Um, you want to oh, you know what's really awesome? Guess where I saw the where I had the absolute most encounters with patrons. The cafeteria. 
The Final Fantasy VII Remake line. Yep. Oh. You know what's up. <laughs> you know what's up. We cultivate a particular audience. Yes. <laughs> like so many people there. Oh. It was amazing. I just want, Huber, I wanted to <laughs> shout out the other people that we played Iceborne with that we never met and never yeah, saw. I, I, I have it. couldn't pick them out of a yeah. lineup. Whoever you were, you yeah. literally never yeah. saw them. <laughs> never saw. Them, no, dude. like, and I was trying to. Like, you don't even know who they are. And I was like no. trying to say stuff to them yeah. and never, never heard anything. Yeah. Never saw anything. How do you know they were bots. journalists? That's what. So the reps were going okay from to both sides. So they were, they would, were like, like, they would like, they would like, they would like, they would like come and like say something to us. No, so it was me and Huber. It was the way it was set up. <laughs> this was four TVs, and so it was me and Huber next to each other with the TVs obviously facing us, and then they were on the other side. Right. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah. yeah, I, I, I have to take the Capcom reps word for it, but yeah, I never saw them. Never saw. Them. It, it could have been like Kyle Bossman. It could have been using was, an insect life. I don't know. It was probably Lucy James and and Keely. <laughs> I would. That's what a that would be great. I would, yeah. but it was I, like, definitely not Keely. Oh man. No, yeah, definitely not Keely. <laughs> if Ke if I could play Monster on the Hunter with Keely and he just goes like, "I'm out at it." <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. That'd be so good. Oh, Keely would use a great. Spot. One thing I did today that we pro we won't talk about uh, at all. You're about to talk about it. The future of Xbox meeting. I I knew this was like a risk. Let's talk this Xbox. Was, this was either gonna be. A really great, insightful meeting, or is it going to be nothing? And yeah. it was not, it, they just not, repackaged the things they already told us in a press a conference, thing, and yeah. then talked about like the game bar and the Windows getting updated. So yeah, good. Uh, that needed an update. That, <laughs> that thing I've never heard of. Right. I mean, like they showed me all this UI and like, oh, that's what you, happens if you actually push Win G oh. when the pop up tells you to. <laughs> Thank <God>. you. <laughs> the patrons. thing that no one will ever do. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. Thank you, subscribers. Thank, Thank you, mods. mods. Yeah. You We're are. getting back on the floor in like eight hours. So. Yeah, Thank so we are. gotta go not be talking now. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for watching our coverage of E3 2019. If you'd like to learn more about us, visit patreon.com slash easyallies to see how you can help us keep doing what we do. At various levels of support, you can participate in the live and pre-recorded content we create, or get our podcasts a few days early. For just $1 a month, you gain access to exclusive shows, spoiler-filled discussions, and weekly business updates. You can also visit easyallies.com to see our schedule in your time zone.